schoolhouse used to be. <laughs> so I tell you, now when Mona died last winter, I said to myself, Al, if you keep busting your hump 16, 20 hours a day, you'll end up with a $60 million funeral, you know? <laughs> Hey, Doc, could you scare up another round for our table over here and tell the cook this is low-grade dog food, all right? And here, take this for yourself, okay? Gee, I had better food at the ball game, you know? <laughs> I'll tell you, this steak still has marks where the jockey was hitting it. <laughs> well, anyway, today I just stick to real estate, you know? With the market these days, if you own anything but land, you own a popcorn farm. <laughs> Oh, somebody stepping a duck? Isn't <laughs> <laughs> that right, sir? Oh, the graveyard is two blocks to the left, okay? <laughs> dog food! I'll show you dog food! Hey, where's the bar? Let's have some drinks here. See what's going on for crying out loud. <laughs> hey, waiter, here, this is for you, all right? Oh, Captain Hook. Uh, how about the granny over me, huh? Ah, forget about it. I'm just kidding, all right? <laughs> oh, this your wife. Oh, a lovely lady. Hey, baby, you're all right. You must have been something before electricity, huh? <laughs> okay. Hey, doll, how are you, huh? You live alone? Hey, Rabbi, nice seeing you. Don't get your eye. Folks, how are you, huh? Oh, this is your grandson, huh? Oh, wonderful boy. Nice boy, you're right. He's a good boy, okay? And now I know why tigers eat their young, you know? <laughs> XM202 The ONA virus. It's everything, all the time. XM202 The Opian Anthony Show.
Sammy Vegas. The Opie and Anthony Show. Opie and Anthony. Live. Live. Huh? From Las Vegas. Oh, my God. It was a really lovely day filled with cold ham and sweaters and avoided eye contact. Now everyone's got to suffer. Come on, dudes. Let's pick up some trim at a strip club. I love paying for sex. Wow, you are a horny one. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Woo! Opie and Anthony show. Opie and Anthony. From Las Vegas. I don't mess with underage girls. Well, what's going on out there? We're the only radio show that makes you want to hate us. Good piece of input, stupid. Shut up. The Opie and Anthony show. Here it comes, kids. Hold on to your hats. Is that so? Who made you poop in this dump? Oh, oh, it works today. Uh, Ah, oh, oh, Very good. It's the ONA virus live from Las Vegas. How are you guys, huh? Oh. We got a live audience, Anthony. We hate live audiences, but enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs> We're just not used to a live audience. No, it's usually uh, the wee hours of the morning in uh, that New York uh, crap hole that we're in on a daily basis so it's just a little different it's I think being in this atmosphere you kinda wanna you know go out and, and party and have some fun yeah uh, instead of doing the show <laughs> when we're in New York it's nice to think that no one's actually listening to our crap yeah you just kinda do it you do it like ah no one heard that yeah but uh... yeah we're in Las Vegas and it's it's uh... it's raining yeah, it's not. I not think good. it rains once a year, and it figures the weekend we're in Las Vegas, it's going to rain on us. But you don't really do many things outside, so it doesn't matter. What are you going to do? But, well, but although Opie might go rollerblading down the strip <laughs> or something, uh, but most people just hang out in their respective casinos and gamble, or they come into convention centers and see the latest uh, technology or or smut. Yeah, we're in at Jim's the, case. We're at the CES. We're going to have Laszlo from GTA. Yes. He's actually like a tech head. Of course he is. And he can make sense of uh, all this crap that we've been walking around and checking out. That's what his show is. It's all full of uh, new technology. What does he do? The uh, techno file for XM? Techno file. It's great. There he is. In it's a few him. minutes. But first, we got to talk about uh, Jimmy Norton. Lil Jimmy Norton almost didn't make the show today, Anthony. Yeah. He wasn't feeling well. Did you have a boo boo in your tummy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick, and not just because I have an erection reading this Michael Jackson story. I am not. <laughs> we'll get into the Michael Jackson thing. Front page of the post today. Very yeah. unhealthy. Yeah, I've been vomiting all morning. So uh, Now, I'm, why Why do you think, you would know yourself better than anyone else, why do you think you uh, were vomiting? Ugh. I was nude, and I walked by a mirror and caught a glimpse. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just because I'm, uh, I think I ate bad yesterday, and I just much bacon on it. Wait, stuff. you ate bad yesterday, and you, you think? You think you ate bad yesterday? Three BLTs in 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that could be the problem. And these are like Las Vegas BLTs. I mean, the, the bacon is like an inch thick. It's uh, greasier than usual. It's, not much LT. Oh, the bread is just soaked with the, the bacon grease, and he's wondering why he's getting sick. But then you had that soup. Yeah. Which I told you not to get. Creamy tomato soup, and I had a creamy asparagus soup earlier at another dinner. And I can only imagine Jimmy thinking, hey, it's tomato. It's, it's got to be healthy. It's yeah. good for me. It's it's made with a tomato, yeah, how but it's a tomato cream thing? soup. Yeah. There was so much cream in it, it had like a light brown texture to it. I, I'm looking at it going, that doesn't look like tomato soup. Was it a thick, creamy batch of soup, yeah, Jim? very viscous Very hearty. And I woke up and I... Just Filled to the up. brim, right up to the tippity top. Yeah, it's nice, like, whoa, thick. It's like, whoa, cream. don't spill any as you ooh, bring it to the table. Well, the waitress is bringing it over. To, ooh, don't <laughs> spill a drop. I want to eat every little bit of it. <laughs> every heaping spoonful. With cornbread. Mm. I don't even like cornbread. Oh, I was Did it have a pudding skin on it when it came <laughs> over that you had to peel off? All creamy, disgusting. So no then, wonder you got sick. And you just started puking when you got back to your room? No, I woke up this morning. I knew I had to throw up, so I ran to the bathroom. And it just it tasted like uh, those potato skins with bacon on them. It just tasted like bacon and cheese. Uh, I really did you you had that too? Potato skins with bacon? No, but that's just what it reminded me oh, of coming I was back say, up. You know, well, Club Soda Kenny had to call all, all of us to say, Lil Jimmy Norton is not feeling well. He's going to try to make the show, guys. And then he's like, he, you told him it, it was the, the BLT and the tomato soup. And he goes, I think it might have had something to do with the ladies he's bringing up to his room. Yeah. Now, if you're ingesting certain products that a human being uh, is supposed to get rid of... It couldn't be healthy. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's part of the reason you're feeling a little sickly. 
Now, last night I was actually pretty normal. I didn't do anything disgusting last night. Um, I doubt that, but <laughs> you mean relatively speaking? Yeah, compared to what I usually do. Yeah, last night was fairly normal. Um, I spent yesterday at the porn convention, and, you know, yep. I, just, I, I, ate this, I ate bad, and that's what happened. That's why I'm sick, so yeah. I have to run off the stage. That's why. I, I actually made Ben put a bucket. Can you imagine the I see there's like a little, there's a bucket there. Oh, no, he's got a whole thing. He, he goes to Ben. Ben, one of these rooms where they're doing these, you know, huge meetings, you got to set it aside in case I got to run off we the stage. We have a vomit room just oh, yeah, for we Jimmy. Oh, yeah, set up for Jimmy today. Like a Roman emperor. How great would it be to vomit in front of those hot Playboy chicks? <laughs> Hi, can I have your number? No. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the porn convention, we're at dinner, and of course he has to get all the digital pictures of everybody, you know, yeah. the celebrities. He's he's showing me uh, showing me these pictures of the, I guess old porn stars, right? Uh, yeah, a couple. I didn't recognize any of them except for uh, uh, Amber. Amber Lynn. Yeah, Amber yeah. Lynn, I recognize. She looks really good. But does she still look good? Yeah, really. Yes. Yeah. yeah, she looks great. And she's been in the business for a while, and that's a business that kind of chews you up and spits you out. Yeah, twenty years. But Jimmy said that, what, she's like 53 now or something? She's got to be close to 50. If I said that, she'd probably smack me in the face. And I'm she kidding. still does movies or no? No, unfortunately, she should do movies. Well, she's stop really it. Hot. Do it. No hot. one wants to see that. I do. We're at the table as he's eating his awful tomato soup and his greasy BLT. Mm, I can old. still taste it when I burp. Uh, Bubbling. We, our goal is to make oh. you puke in front of everybody here. No. <laughs> uh, so he's showing me the pictures off his camera, and I don't know any of these guys, and he's all excited, like, oh, no, that's butt man. You don't understand. Oh, like he, he was taking pictures at the Oscars. Yeah, he, he revolutionized the whole porn industry. He Why did, did butt man revolutionize the whole <laughs> porn industry? Uh, because he followed, he did all that point of view stuff where he was following girls up steps, acting like he just met them in public, as opposed to, like, the stuff that was shot on film and then all the... Almost like reality yes. uh, TV yeah. porno. That's all him. And he was the butt, master. butt man. Absolutely. Interesting. And that made Jimmy. watching porn better? Oh, my God, much hotter. I was so stupid. I used to whack my bag and go, oh, my God, I just met these girls. Not really that they had to sign releases and all that stuff. I actually thought it was real. Oh, so we'd walk up to him and go, hey, hey You see the hey, hand come baby. out from the point of view? You just see the, the arm come out in front of the camera because he was you're holding so the camera. gullible. That, Later that, in the movie, it's not an arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the acting in those films, you're so gullible. You really thought that was yeah, cause going he would, down? He would follow them down the, up the steps. Yeah, it looked kind of realistic. All right. Yeah. Well, where's Steve? Steve was at the, the porn convention with Jimmy Norton and Club Soda Kenny, and I guess Kenny just almost got kicked out of his second convention. <clears throat> Something we'll get into when we get back to New York, I guess. But uh, you guys were doing all sorts of interviews. Yeah, we hit the uh, <clears throat> the AVN uh, convention. At I think the Steve's mic's a little hot. Is no, it? no, not loud. Your hat was hitting it. <laughs> and uh, it made your mic a little hot. It's just flaming. It never goes away. <laughs> no, it never goes away. Uh, yeah, we hit the AVN at uh, convention at this at the Stan's Convention Center yesterday, and it <laughs> there you go. Steve. Sorry, Steve. Thanks. It's okay. Uh, and we just basically went went booth to booth, um, uh, interviewing as many of these uh, porn chicks as possible. And at first, I started to do it. I talked to John Doe, uh, a porn director. John for, Doe, yeah, the exactly. John Doe, the, the porn John director. Doe. And we were talking about exactly what Jimmy was just talking about. Those those are those reality point of view pornos where the guy uh, he holds the camera himself while he's in the act. So you know the people that buy it think they're in the midst of of the whole thing. Doesn't anyone make a good Dirk Diggler action movie type uh, porno anymore? They do actually. There's a whole there's there's companies that do. He knows it all. <laughs> of course, it's, it's, amazing. Amazing. it's great. There's there's companies that now shoot exclusively on film with oh. with high profile uh, stars. The acting sucks, but uh, but yeah, but 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 this genre. That he's doing, it's all it's all very very raunchy. It's two people in a room. Supposedly, it's a lot hotter. And we're talking to him, and it, I did it very straight up. And I'm like, eh, why don't we get Kenny to do this? So we wrote down a whole bunch of questions for this big lumbering doofus to yeah. go around and ask these girls. And Kenny just was he was fantastic. We were just going around to different booths, grabbing, uh, <clears throat> not grabbing, but <laughs> that would have been bad. Um, getting the attention of all these girls and Kenny would just go off. What were some of the questions? Uh, did you make a reservation for the tsunami? <laughs> <laughs> I heard one girl had no clue. Yeah, that was actually... Uh, uh, I mean, how do you? How are you on Earth, on yeah. the planet Earth, and you have no clue about the tsunami? Once uh, you, yeah. You're a porno girl, I guess. Yeah. Well, there's actually, I gotta jump in, there's actually a restaurant in the Venetian called Tsunami. I thought it was it hilarious. Yeah, yes, for a drink, they splash it in your face. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a Japanese place. So. Oh, yeah, she had no clue what a tsunami was. No clue what a tsunami was. Uh, he asked uh, he asked the girls who they wanted to win the presidential election, and 
They had no idea. They were just yeah. Oh, I don't know what the was, name. What was the question where he almost got kicked out of that convention? Oh, we have all the audio that we'll, we'll play Monday when, yeah. when we uh, get back to New York. But We did 19 interviews yesterday. One person got really pissy with him, and uh, it was some, someone at the, at the uh, Vivid booth got really angry with Kenny when he was asking about fetishes, and we were trying to work Jimmy into the discussion about, uh, uh, about his little golden shower fetish. Yeah. And the subject sort of migrated to fecal matter. Scat. Yeah, as they scat. call it. It's called and scat in the all business? All of a sudden, scat, OP. Scat. All we right. get this one girl gives gives us the most mortified look and says, oh, I don't like these questions. Calls over her manager, Howard, get them out of here. And They're a porn Yeah, exactly. Actress. Thank you. Like, what you know, the hell is the... You're promoting your latest anal feature, and I'm a, and I'm a dirtbag? <laughs> Yeah, well, well, a, yeah, well, but, yeah. You, well. you, you guys said uh, it was something else, and she was trying to explain that it's called golden showers. And uh, oh, well, that, that was European. I'm sorry, that was another one. Oh, that was another. That one. was another European. One. European, right? Yeah, there's is another. that the scat? Kenny no, was, Kenny was asking about urination. <laughs> Look at fetishes. Jimmy's all angry with me because I don't know the lingo. What's no, European, rookie. Jimmy? European? Yeah. It was like, it was a play on words. It was a play on. Oh, oh European. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, stop! You just caught that, you dumbbell. That's so corny. <laughs> Steve didn't even get it. Well, look at him. What? Nothing. So we got the audio for Monday. Yeah, so. yeah, it's, uh, it's really fantastic. Steve, before you go, you gotta check out Jim Norton's um, arm hair. Yeah. He was letting us all touch his. his Very exciting. No, he was letting us all touch his uh, his arm hair last night at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I guess he's ticklish. All right. Well, anyway, thank you, Steve. Yeah, no problem. More from Steve later on. Oh, he's so excited about the... Uh, Steve. Well, tomorrow is cool. Convention. We're going to be broadcasting live from the AVN. Yeah. And it's going to be a whole different radio show. Oh, please. Some of the guests we're going to get there. Because we're on our best behavior. I mean, Hugh we're Pinero trying. and everybody sat us down. Elo, Straylo. Now I know uh, Hugh Pinero, his nickname is Hugo. It's got to all end with the O thing. Yeah, Hugo. Hugo, so, Stralo, They kind of want us to do like a uh, kind of a PG radio show while we're at the CES. Not so much for what's going out over the air, but just for the uh, live audience. We're right. doing a big commercial for a lot of these uh, goofballs yeah, that, what are, it is. that are uh, checking us out. The geeks. Showing that we can behave. So then they could go out and sell the show and sell XM Satellite Radio and all that. But it's not an honest representation of the program. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I think tomorrow will be a little more honest. The, the past uh, day and today uh, is what's called a, a lie. It's a big <laughs> lie. Yeah, exactly. This is not the program that uh, the Opie and Anthony show does. This is, uh, you know, us sitting around doing an XM commercial. Yeah, we're That's just pretty much it. We're just kind of showcasing ourselves, right? They get all nervous when we start talking about Jimmy's exploits and... And the uh, adult video uh, thing that's going on, and they get a whole, oh, oh, what? What if someone's out there and they see and they get upset? And oh, gee, you haven't heard us curse or anything, you know? A couple curses. Yeah, like the S word, but yeah, you know they don't want the F bomb being dropped or. No, who? Uh, ridiculous. No, who I run, ran into last night. I was going to get some Starbucks, and of course Ben's at the bar just slamming down uh, pints. Look at him. No, I wasn't. Because he's sick. Well, he was on, like, uh, extra strength cold medicine and drinking beer at the same time. Yeah, when you're taking that extra strength uh, goes, cold medicine, you want to sit at a bar and really wash it down. Well, he's not Ben, by the way. He's Buljo. Buljo. <laughs> yeah. Buljo. But Ben's like, I went to bed at 8 and I got up at 5. And he was surprised he slept that, that long. But it might have been the extra strength cold medicine and a couple pints. Hanging out drinking. There's, there's some of his... He knows people everywhere. I'm in the lobby of the hotel and there's people coming up to me. Hey, I was supposed to meet Ben a half hour, 45 <laughs> oh, minutes. Oh, he's talking about he's got asleep. 17 phone calls from people uh, and he, they're here to, to, like, hook up with him. Yeah. I don't know how he knows these people. I'm like, I know he was, you know, I know he's under the weather and he he took some cold medicine. Maybe he's crashing. Where is he? Uh, I don't know. He's probably in his room combing his hair with a fan and a machine gun. Oh. <laughs> so sad you're sick today, Jim. Oh. Yeah, take away his puke bucket yeah. and get, yeah, you know, I know. You can get even with him. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll just and then on. Ben, before the show in the green room, is telling us that we're not doing Vegas right. because oh. No, 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 no. no. What That's what you saying? Saying. No, no, ben I Vegas? Said. I want to call him Ben Vegas. Well, no, Ben, I ben said. has like a theory on Vegas. He says the first time you come to Vegas, you just... Let it all out, right? Well, no, you were saying you were saying we're all going to bed early, and I said I went to bed early, and I thought about it last night. I'm like, but you know, the first time you come to Vegas, you go completely nuts. To the, you know, I and then even, to everyone was like, this is the first time we've been to I, Vegas, I, I and in like you know, quite a few years anyway. Wow. Yeah, but you've been here before. Yeah, and Obi's been here. Jim Stroll. I there. think it gets ugly after this radio show tonight. Tonight will be tomorrow. Our night will definitely be fun. an awful 
hungover type radio program. I went right to the tables after this show yesterday. Uh, went right to the table. But what I didn't realize is we should probably go back to the room and nap. Take that nap uh, after the show because we kind of get up early to do this. Um, and then spend the rest of the night hanging out because by, by 7 o'clock... <laughs> Seven o'clock. What the <laughs> hell happened to us? I was shot. I've been sitting at the table for you know six, seven hours or whatever it was, and uh, I was shot. I looked at the watch, expecting to see you know four in the morning, feeling like that, and it's seven o'clock at night. Now, did you win any money last night? No, I dropped like two hundred, but I was playing for a long time, and and I screwed up. It was one of those things where you, you do the slow build and you're fine. You'll watch your chip stack go up, and then uh, when you're ready to when you're ready to leave, you kind of do those bonehead moves where you, all right, let me try to double this, or I'll, you know, make some big bets, and I'm um, due, that kind of thing. And you break your strategy, and, and you wind up uh, giving back what, what you had won, plus more. Right. And uh, that's kind of what I did. But I kind of, I, I felt like you know, I wasn't really blowing it big time because it was kind of money that I had for food and stuff. It was just, I hadn't been to the ATM yet. It was just kind of like uh, bar cabbage that you had yeah, stuffed yeah. in front of your pocket. Because we hadn't gone out. What about that guy that just was messing yeah. up the whole table? This is when I went to the minimum bet for uh, quite a few hands because the guy showed up. Everyone that comes to Vegas, Atlantic City, wherever you are, the guy shows up at the table. It was uh, kind of a young guy in a suit, probably here for the convention, uh, a little tipsy. He sits down, pulls out, we're at the $5 minimum table hanging out he pulls out a, a $20 bill and gets um, gets five chips you know or uh, four chips four. what is that five ten fifteen <laughs> twenty yeah. four chips they throw him an extra one <laughs> that math <laughs> that math could be a bitch stuns sometimes, me you know? sometimes yeah he gets his four chips slides his five bucks in on the circle and uh, he's dealt something like a nine not a 19 he's got nine and uh, the dealer's showing a uh, face card comes around to him and he goes um, I'll stick. And and the table now just starts looking at each other like, uh-oh, we're in trouble. We got one of these guys on board that has no clue what he's doing. He's got nine. He's sticking. He's got a nine. He's sticking with the dealer showing a queen. Unbelievable. So so the dealer goes, you know, you you got a nine. You know, you hit that. And he, he looks around. He goes, oh, hit me. And then the dealer goes, no, you got to tap if you want to hit. Or wave it off if you want you want to stay. He goes, oh, and he starts waving. <laughs> and then the dealer's like, no, you want to hit, tap the tip. And now we're all just panicked looking around the table. I'm looking at my bet like, bye, 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 whatever it was, because this guy's just going to screw up by the numbers. And uh, later on, he's, you know, the dealer's showing that six, and he's pulling a 14, and what does he do? Hit me. And the table wanted to right in the, <laughs> right in the face. You get those guys, they come up. Sometimes you get a real good table going and they, everyone knows each other. Sometimes people stop hitting knowing that a face card hasn't come up in a while, seeing that the guy next to him has an 11, he's going to double down, let him get the chance to hit in the face. And the table's like working with each other. Right. And uh, it works well. Then someone leaves and you get a new guy coming and you're like, ah, oh, here comes disaster. You know. And that's what you got to deal with. So I'm just putting out five bucks until this guy left. We all got to get a table after the show. Oh, hell yeah. All of us should hook up. And Oh, Ben, were you playing a little last yeah. night? Did you How, how'd you do? I'm down about 40 bucks. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, not bad. I was winning on the electronic blackjack with Laszlo. Like, Are I you playing the, uh, right, right at the bar? I won, yeah, but I won 20 bucks. I actually lost 350 on a machine called Prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you were playing the ATM machine. <laughs> you play that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, you are gambling. I don't wear bags, so. But yeah, that is gambling. <laughs> You are taking a quite a risk. I, I notice you have your back to the crowd. You, you don't even want to know the looks you're getting yeah, when you uh, say what you're saying. I'm just not feeling too well, so I'm kind of. You Do you know, want uh, Ben, the girls from Playboy? Why don't we get them up to say hi real fast before our first break, and then we'll get Laszlo on after the break. From everyone knows who Laszlo is from uh, Grand Theft Auto. Most He's people here. that are feeling a little ill, Opie, they uh, take their temperature or whatnot. I, I don't know. Maybe here at the, there's so much new technology here. They have a T cell. Uh, counter here that maybe we could get Jimmy to uh, take a test. You really do take some chances here in Vegas. Yeah, it just can't happen to me. You're playing the old. Are <laughs> oh, the girls You're aren't here? Playing right the old bareback, are you? Yeah. Yeah, of course. That's uh, all good. God. Where are the girls? Oh, they're not here. So why don't we take? I mean, they? they're going to come back. Oh, so okay. we'll do Laszlo and the girls from the Playboy Channel. 
I After wanna, the break. I want to wear condoms on my hands handling the chips sometimes with some of the people at the table. Ugh. You get these, like, Asian guys just smoking and coughing into their hands, and, and then they they lose and you win the same amount, and the dealer just slides their chips over to you. Right. Like, I don't want this guy's... He's got SARS all over his <laughs> chips. You know what? Jimmy's a pro. He don't care. <laughs> While you were gambling, I had to hang out with the agent, super agent, Bob Eatman. That's your problem. I abandoned I'm Bob. Started, I'm starting to understand it is my problem. I'm I don't understand you why you didn't just ditch Bob. It was an easy ditch. Our agent came from L.A. to, I don't know, did we have a big meeting in one of these rooms? I don't even know. I yeah. fell asleep because it was him and his, and his buddy there that are two of the most boring guys on the on the face of the earth. I couldn't believe I was in Vegas and bored out of my mind. And then I just looked and said, oh, it's because I'm here with Bob. And Bob's like, hey, you want to play some, uh, uh, you want to gamble a little bit? What do you, you know, you want to, uh, you, you have dinner plans? I'm like, I, I'm like, Bob, just get on a flight back to did LA. He, did your, he get Your family's chips? missing you. Did he get chips and ask the dealer for a receipt? <laughs> that's that's Bob. Said, oh wait, can I have a receipt for those, please? Uh, that's, that's our agent. Yes, yeah, Bob. Taxes, you know. So I, what uh, a dullard! I finally ditched him. Why would you hang with? I'd rather eat tomato soup out of Voss's ear right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you spend any I time with Bob? I really don't know. You I'm, did. I cut out. I took the trip back to the hotel, and Obi's like, "I'm gonna hang out for you know a little bit longer." And I was like, "Why would you do this to yourself?" Oh, I got you bad though in the green room. Oh, you ditched me with somebody. Well, she's a very nice girl, and she's a big fan of the show, but she likes to talk a lot. Talking, talking, talking. Just yapping. And Opie comes up with a great excuse. It was a really good, because you even fooled me for a second. We're in the green room, and it's, uh, I think she, she works for XM. She's yeah. definitely cool. I mean, she, she gets the job done you know, on her on her show. But, but it's she, non-stop, non-stop talking. Non-stop talking. We couldn't get a word in, and... Not, and I didn't know where one sentence stopped and one began. It was yeah. just one, you know, long sentence. And to tell you the truth, when you get done with the radio show, you kind of want to stop talking for a little while. You know, you don't really want to wind down a little bit, right? So, yeah. and, and Ant and I have played this game for years. We we try to figure out how we're going to get out of that situation, and we ditch him on the other person. And uh, all of a sudden, I'm just like, oh, oh my God, I forgot. I got to I got to talk to Bob really fast before he leaves and I just ditched you in that room yeah he walks out oh but you didn't just leave right before you shut the door he peeks his head in and gives this smile like I just screwed you <laughs> ass and now I'm sitting there with him she's talking talking and I was like oh what time uh, what time did they say the car was coming to pick us up and my girlfriend goes oh any minute now <laughs> so we walk outside but then we're standing right in front of the door to the room that we were just left saying we had to leave immediately for like 10 more minutes and I think after 10 minutes she walked out and I was still standing there, yeah. which is kind of the giveaway to. But she was, didn't stop uh, talking. Definitely nice, but all right, we'll take a break. We'll get Laszlo here to talk about CES because mm -hmm. there is a lot of cool stuff that they're showing off here. Yeah, we don't know a lot of the stuff that's going on, but he's uh, definitely plugged into the whole thing. And we got Julie and Tiffany from the Playboy Channel. Ooh, you see the the, the creeps that were getting pictures with the girls? Yeah, I saw a few of them. I, I think they're all gone, the so we can talk about them now. The, it's never. Uh, it's always creepy I wanna, when guys take picture with Playboy. I want to see if they're going to be honest because these guys lining up, they were scary. And they all creepy. wanted pictures of the the hot Playboy girls. What do you do with those pictures? I mean, it's nice to have and everything, but it's not like a picture of De Niro, right? With yeah, you know, you show it, everyone knows who it is. What do you do with the you, hot you're girl? You're still picture? rubbing it into him. The, uh, he always have the De Niro. Uh, yesterday there was a picture of De Niro in the paper with some architect. And I was like, look at an architect who gets a picture with him and not little Jimmy. Well, Nothing. The reason, I, I don't know. They get pictures of these Playboy girls so they just want to show their stupid friends. Like, here's Yeah, girl but what is it? It's not like they came over and we, we were hanging in a bar and the girl found him exciting and decided to take a picture. It's a line of guys taking pictures with these Playboy chicks. Yeah. yeah. silly. All right. You know, uh, going into break, remember we were talking to Kevin Kennedy yesterday? Yes. And he's going to do Major League Baseball coverage for XM Satellite Radio? Yeah. Um, a really cool guy, by the way. I think we're going to try to get him on the show on a regular basis doing some baseball stuff he's for us. such a sports guy, too. Yeah, he's but, got the look and yeah. the attitude but and everything. But he has no problem telling the stories. No, no, I he understand that. He got into that, the steroid thing, which yeah. I didn't think he was going to yesterday. You could definitely tell he was that guy that was just really good in gym class when you were, like, just a jerk-off walking around there stumbling around not knowing what to do and he was always you know the guy that got picked first yeah, yeah, yeah. just like your typical sports guy walk right. around in a towel you couldn't take your eyes off him. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we were mentioning the earl weaver clip oh right and he said that he has uh the clip 
And uh, I think. Uh oh, uh oh. Are, are we allowed to play this? Well, Ooh. Well, it's gonna. It's is gonna get, Elo gonna come over and hit a button? It's gonna get a little saucy out there. A little racy, a little blue. It's gonna get a little saucy, everyone. Oh. It's Earl Weaver just losing his mind after a game, I guess. It was the post game show or something. It's one of our favorite clips. We haven't played it in a while. Yeah. And we'll play this going into break. And when we come back, it'll be Laszlo and the girls from the Playboy Channel. Nice. It's Opie and Anthony live from CES in Las Vegas, Nevada. Check this out. Now, the manager corner with the thoughts and opinions of the American League's winningest manager, the Orioles, Pearl Weaver. Today's show is sponsored by Baltimore's Six Best, your area Oldsmobile dealers, Anderson Olds, Schaefer and Stominger Olds, Lee Oldsmobile, Metro Olds, City Olds, and Stuberger Olds. And now, to the manager corner with Pearl Weaver. Well, Bill Whitehouse, Earl, that, that certainly is an answer. From uh, Frederick Merrill, wants to know why you and the Orioles don't go out and get some more team speed. Team speed, for Christ's sake. You get fucking goddamn little fleas on the fucking bases, getting picked off, trying to steal, getting thrown out, taking runs away from you. You get them big cocksuckers that can hit the fucking ball out of the ballpark, and you can't make any goddamn mistake. Uh, well, well, certainly this show is going to go down in history, Earl. Terry Elliott of Washington, D.C. Why wants to know why you don't use Terry Crowley as a designated hitter all the time. Well, Terry, Terry Crowley's lucky he's in fucking baseball, for Christ's sake. He was released by the Cincinnati Reds. He was released by the fucking goddamn Atlanta Braves. We saw that Terry Crowley could sit on his fucking ass for eight innings and enjoy watching a baseball game just like any other fan and has the ability to get up there and break one open in the fucking ninth. So if this cocksucker nine is own business, and let me manage the fucking team, we'd be a lot better off. Well, well, certainly you've made your opinions known on the fans' questions about baseball, Earl, but let's get to something else. Alice Sweet from Norfolk wants to know the best time to put in a tomato plant. Alice Sweet ought to be worried about where the fuck her next lady's coming from, rather than where her next goddamn tomato plant's coming from. If she'd get her ass out of the fucking bars at night and go hustling around the goddamn street, she might get a prick stuck in her once in a while. I don't understand where these questions are coming from, Tom. That's about it from Manager's Corner. Go fuck yourself and the fuck with your show coming up next on the Baltimore Oriole Baseball Fucking Network. It's the OP and Anthony Show. Live from Las Vegas. Yeah. Watching a bunch of retards trying to hump a doorknob out. Yeah, that's what we do. Because we're perverts. That's right. Stupid. Thought about trying Viagra, Levitra, or Cialis? Now you can with a call to MetaMeds.com. No need to discuss it with your family doctor. Just call 1-800-929-2699 and over the phone your info will be reviewed and upon a physician's approval your product will be shipped directly to your door. Easy and confidential. Order the real Viagra made by Pfizer for as little as $6 per 50 milligram dose. Call 800-929-2699 or go to MEDAMEDS.com at MetaMeds.com. 800-929-2699. Down the left field line, is it enough? The hopes and dreams of 30 major league teams are told on XM Satellite Radio like never before. Hear every play, every team, from spring training to the World Series. Hear it on XM Satellite Radio, the official satellite network service of Major League Baseball. It's radio to the power of X, all included as part of your basic monthly service plan. We've made it even easier for you to give XM. Share the XM experience with your friends and family, especially with XM Service gift cards. It's a convenient and flexible way to give XM service. And you can order gift cards, XM radios, accessories, and gear at the XM Radio online store. Check out XM's new online store at XMRadio.com. <laughs> Oh, shit. It's an Opie and Anthony Wow sticker stop. This Wednesday, January 12th, get to the Acme Oyster House in the French Quarter in New Orleans, Louisiana, and pick up your Wow stickers. Whoa, those aren't real. Yes, they are. Lunchtime at the Acme Oyster House, 724 Iberville Street, New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm getting an erection as we speak. Once again, here is how it should sound. The Wow sticker stop, brought to you by your pals at the Opie and Anthony Show. XM202. The Opie and Anthony Show. So be it. Threaten no more. Just the kill pieces. 
And we're back, broadcasting live in Las Vegas, Nevada at the CES. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. We got the girls from the Playboy channel coming up in a few minutes, Anthony. Julie and Tiffany, they do a great job on that channel, man. I, it's, I think it's Florentine's favorite channel on XM Satellite Radio, right? Yeah, he likes Playboy very much. Really? Well, he likes it because, you know, he's driving to a lot of gigs. And didn't you tell me he has to bring tissues in his car yeah. just because of that channel? Yeah, he said he's actually oh. pulled over and whacked his bag. Oh. <laughs> Which I kind of respect. We'll have to bring it up to the girls face to face. But first, uh, we're going to bring in Laszlo. Yeah. Laszlo is probably the coolest guy on earth. And I'll tell you why. Legend. He I got, got to gamble with, uh, with Ben last night. Oh, you were, you were <laughs> yeah. gambling with Ben? Yeah. I got to explain. How'd that work out? Oh, it's, dude, he's like the Tasmanian Wookiee. <laughs> <laughs> Tasmanian that video po poker, he's just nuts. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's hitting half the time. No, he's herking, jerking, hitting buttons. He's like, oh, I didn't want to hit that yet. Hold it, hold it. No, no, I want one. <laughs> right, right. Is he gossiping all night, too? <laughs> oh, dude, and I'm like betting really slow because I like to make the money last. Right. Dude. Dude, the Eagles are going to be playing Wynn's place for the next two years, but no one knows it yet. It hasn't been announced. We're trying to get my back. <laughs> I mean, like, his hands are slapping. And then, meanwhile, I'm going so slow, my machine freezes up. So the bartender, I, I, like, barkeep, you know, I'd like to gamble here. Yeah. And he comes over and he's like, uh, give it a whack. And I'm like, pardon me? This big piece of electronics. You want me to just Fonzarelli it? And so I'm, like, beating on this thing, waiting for security to come over. He's like, ah, that ain't working. Kick it. And so I'm in the MGM Grand, like, kicking this kicking. machine. Wow. And then did, the, did it free up? Uh, no, the woman had to come over and do the control, delete, or whatever. That's actually the same advice you give if a child is misbehaving. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Whack it a little, then kick it. <laughs> but he's the coolest uh, in our eyes because he, he got us in GTA, San Andreas. I know. That was very cool. But I was asking him at the bar, I'm like, dude, when do I get to hear myself? I've been playing the game for a month and a half. <laughs> he goes, are you two-thirds of the way done yet? I'm like, uh... Well, it'll take a while. I, I think I've done five or six missions because he told me he goes most people when they play GTA they get through half of the game and then they start screwing off because yeah. it, it's just it turns out to be cooler to just screw off after a while. Or they decide to go get their wizard cloak and stop playing entirely. That's <laughs> true. They <laughs> go to, Anthony go about to that? different games. Right. Uh, I've been playing EverQuest two. Are you done? You can't, no, there's it's never done. That game is never done. You, you just keep you playing it. Finish You're that game. Ever questing. Ever questing. You know when the game's over when you finally die. That's pretty much it. You, you, I, I still have my uh, my account for the original EverQuest, and I there's no way I could cancel it. I haven't played it in months, but I keep paying it, and you just can't cancel it. All the work and years that went into building that character, you can't just eliminate it. So they, they have figured out a way to have people pay them for a service you no longer use. It's brilliant. It, it really is brilliant. Yeah. And and geeks all over, including me, just keep. And there's, there's so many of those games coming out now. Like at the Ele yeah. Electronic Entertainment Expo last year, everybody wants one of those games where they can get people to pay, play, you know, 10 bucks. Yeah. And they're really into it. But, and then they're in love with that character. You know what it is, yeah. though? It's, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of tooting the horn for, for EverQuest uh, and EverQuest 2 even because it's hard to come up with a good game in that whole multi, uh, massive uh, multiplayer online gaming. It's, it's so many of them out there that just suck. Oh, absolutely. They stink. You need so much content in those games that you know you're kind of finding something new or different to do uh, on a daily basis. Some of them are so linear and so just boring. But uh, you know, you play EverQuest too. There's plenty of stuff going on in there, and that's kind of what hooked me into it. Have you guys looked at the rest of the show at all? We uh, just in the general area. We saw the the Hummer with the twelve screens. <laughs> That's always and, and necessary. With the rocket, yeah. And yeah. with the necessary, <laughs> and with the rockets on the side of the thing as right. you're driving. What are the rockets for? I don't know. Those man. are big bazooka speakers. This is oh, really? the most. Yeah. This is the most ridiculous haul of the whole show. Yeah. I mean, I mean, this show is enormous. Just football fields and football fields of nonsense. And this is where all the car stuff is. You know, uh -huh. like oh, I need neon under there, and like, and the booth babes in this hall are the raunchiest of the entire show. <laughs> I like that. The raunchiest. Because, I mean, you go to each one and it's like, oh, great, more car speakers, you know? That looks kind of the same. <laughs> oh, but they got chicks. 
They, yeah, they yeah. got they got chicks bending over inside the car, you know, <laughs> playing. What what I really love is when they get head to head video gaming inside the car, so you can like be in the back seat and playing against somebody in the front seat. <laughs> That's cool. That's kind of the the whole thing with a lot of the uh, the onboard video in the cars is kind of new. Uh, before that. What did they just have? Was it all audio, and that was it? When you come to these shows, yes. Like it, years ago, it was just how many speakers it, can you fit in these the, things? The migraines you would get in this hall. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. It was like you were in the Bronx. Yeah, I mean, it yeah. Was out of control. Just everything rattling. Right. But now it's all about the video, so it's kind of calmed down with people trying to blast your ears out. And they've got this uh, dish over there that I just checked out from Raysat that you get internet to the car. And it's wow. a and it's a wireless mode too, so that you can have several different people on their laptops in the car, all online, all doing separate things. It's and it's like it's, a Wi-Fi in your car. Right. That's pretty cool. Jesus. And I was talking to the guy. I'm like, oh, so this is great. So I can be like downloading porn while driving, <laughs> watching a movie in a chat a game. room. <laughs> oh, and then there's the driving part. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I gotta oh, drive yeah. this I thing. I gotta drive this thing. Was, we, yeah, we saw some vehicles with uh, little TV monitors in the steering wheel. Now, if that isn't <laughs> for the drive, because they could get away with it by saying, well, this TV's for the passenger. That's why we put it over by the glove compartment or something like that, or on the visor. But when it's in the steering wheel, it's pretty much the driver's TV screen. And the ridiculous thing is, they're like, well, it, the car has to be in park. You know, yeah. it will not run. And then you start talking to the guy at the booth for a while, and he's like, well, there's a switch on the back. You know, you switch it. And then, you, then, you, then you're watching, you know, Debbie does Dallas when you're going down the road. Like, oh, it's a little switch. Great. You make a right hand turn on the money shot. It looks like it's coming in on her feet. <laughs> so, what else I, have you seen at the CES? Um, ben, gambling. Yeah. 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 Um, I saw this. Um, this Swiss Army knife. It's got the like USB uh, memory thing in it. Oh yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> how is this gonna ever come? I, in? Dude, there's more garbage at this show. <laughs> I, I, and all these yeah. other like tech radio show people come in, but the revolution's here, ladies and gentlemen. And I come in, I'm like, God, this half of this is garbage. <laughs> Just trash you'd have in your drawer somewhere, never use it. Right. I mean, you know, when you go up, any man that would buy something called the Pocket Surfer is just like. The pocket What's surfer. The pocket and there's, surfer. There's all these devices now that, that are going to be like uh, portable video devices, so that you can sort of record stuff from uh, your computer into it and take it on the road. Mm -hmm. um, there's also some uh, some TiVo-like devices, so that it sits next to your digital video recorder, and everything that you record goes into that as well. So when you're going going to be on the bus or the train on the way to work, you can you know watch all your favorite shows. So yeah. You're basically taking your TiVo with you, right? So. Uh, that's not too bad, though. That's kind of I could see actually cool. maybe using that. Although, what's wrong with the DVDs and the DVD player on Correct. the uh, bus or the plane or something like that? Well, TV, you can get TV. You know, you can get live TV. You can't get it with a DVD. Yeah, I barely watch live TV anymore. Never mind uh, record it. No kidding. It stinks. Everything now is DVDs. That's it. Well, everything now is reality garbage. Well, yeah, there's a story that's about uh, re reality TV uh, on CNN, right? The uh, the rat guy. Oh yeah. Someone somebody... is suing Fear Factor. Now you would think the first one of, their episodes. one of the lawsuits for, from Fear Factor would be somebody maybe being on the show and getting injured, or uh, you know something. Because I watch the show sometimes. Sometimes I, I wonder how the hell the, people don't die on this thing. And uh, it was the rat eating episode. You said you had seen this. Yeah, I think the was it the one where they put the rats in the blender. Yeah, they were blending rats and then eating whatever was in the blender. Nice, right? right? right. Blended rat. Hello, hello, Peta. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they were none too happy. We did rat eating on our program about three years ago. That's how we met Frenchie. Frenchie, right? The annoying French. We got chef. a French chef to actually uh, cook up a rat. I mean, these were you know Subway rats. They were disgusting. They weren't from, big, from man. A, they were huge. Yeah, they weren't from like a pet store. These were the real deal. And we got two cooks. We got a French chef. And then just some guy that reminded us of Jeffrey Dahmer. No, yeah. I mean, no joke. And This and guy pretty much skinned him, shoved a stick in his mouth, and rotated it over an open flame. Right. And then the French chef guy, uh, who, yeah, he's Frenchy now on, on the show, he made rat au poivre that people that ate it were asking for seconds. Really? And this was supposed to be, he ruined the contest, because it was supposed to be so <laughs> disgusting that the person that wouldn't eat the, the most of it, uh, you know, they were eliminated, and then the person that ate the most would, would win the prize. And people were like, you got any more of that? Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. I, I, amazing. I prepared it in an opoive pepper sauce, <laughs> gently sautéed with mushroom, and it was uh, fantastic. The scent of, of rat wafting through the studio was making everyone hungry. I it, love it, it smelled good, right? Yeah, I remember. Well, we still didn't taste it, but and yeah. then the other guys was just a 
bloody mess. People are puking with the other yeah, guys. Yeah. It was the same meat. So anyway, uh, Fear Factor did this rat blender thing. Yeah, now they're being sued, not by a contestant, which is what I thought it was going to be. Somebody at home uh, was watching it and started vomiting uh, from watching it. So they're suing Fear Factor. Uh, it doesn't have a dollar. Oh, wait, 2.5 million? 2.5 million. Fair. That's fair for throwing up. For watching a show and throwing up. So, can I now sue Mariano Rivera for blowing that lead? Because I puked. <laughs> that really stinks. And uh, he threw up, and because he was disoriented, he ran into a doorway, <laughs> which would be funny to watch. But uh, yeah, being sued. Fear factor. Did, did you guys have anything to do with the doggy outside? There's a, you know, the doggy was deflated this morning when was I was it checked. deflated? Yeah, yeah. An, an enormous, oh, that's such the enormous doggy. Leak. I figured you had somebody knife it. Leaking air like the company's leaking money. <laughs> I, I don't understand why we get blamed for everything that happens. I know. Uh, everything. Oh, vandalism. Must be those guys. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I actually saw a phone yesterday uh, smaller than Ben's. Really? I swear to God, it's like a Tic Tac. It's like you eat it and talk oh. on the phone or something. <laughs> was, they're kind of running out of things to do with the phones. Oh, though. absolutely. You know, they, 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 I, I, and I'm one of the biggest suckers with the cell phones. I want the latest, newest cell phone. I want to be able to surf the internet with it. I want video. I want to be able to take nice pictures, not these archaic pictures. I, I need some, you know, I need some megapixels in there. You, and then I buy one, and a week later, there's something better, or that they say is but better. But you know what? You buy the phone, you feel good about yourself. I got the latest technology. Uh, look how cool this is. Yeah. And then it takes one stupid person to come up to you with a better phone. You're like, oh, yep. my phone's crap. Yeah. Where do I get yours? And then it, you buy that one, ends. and it turns out to be crap. I don't know. They just don't quite have it yet. I want to be able to surf the internet on my phone the way I do on my computer. And it's just not there. You get these crappy websites that are just made for your phone, and they're awful. Half of them you can't get to. They take so long to download anything. You're not getting graphics. They, they do have you are, it, though, but you're they not. won't release it. They just won't release it until everybody buys this one, then they release the next one. It's sick. Yeah, there's, no real, there's no real set format either. They're kind of different formats for it. Yeah. And, you know, the, I just want to, I just want to, like they show on the commercials, did people you see, surfing. You see any cool phones out there? Um, did you go to the phone area? Uh, we haven't even found that area. We haven't yet. left the obnoxious <laughs> car area. No, I went to the home theater section. <laughs> oh, you did? That was pretty cool. Yeah, you got to check out the karaoke section too. That is, dude, oh, stop. Dude, it's full of Asians. With the Asian guys, they, it, they oh, love the karaoke. It, it is out of, there's one that I checked out yesterday. I was talking to the woman and it's got pitch correction technology on it. So wow. when you're singing like garbage, it like the computer kicks in and takes you to the It'll right key. It'll put you on the right key I'm no like, matter what you're sounding like. No, the point is for you to sound stupid. Right. Of course. That's, that's what What's, uh, Hit me with about. your best shot! <laughs> Unbelievable, the Asians, they love the karaoke. A whole section? A whole section and of karaoke. And there are people doing it. Oh, it's nuts. And they Christ love to gamble. And I, was, and I was talking to them and I go, is this ever please gonna just go away? I mean, can we <laughs> can we be done with this? And she's like, oh no, the market, and you know, it's really coming to the United States now. It's gonna oh, be in yeah. like every bar. And I'm like, well, this is why I stay home and get drunk. Yeah, <laughs> definitely don't want to hear that. I'm gonna have to go over there. We might have to tape some of these people singing. While you're over there, the see air. if you can get uh, Kevin a new mobile phone so that every time you call him, it doesn't sound like he's holding a drill up to it. Oh, man. <laughs> Have you your boss. Is, is he, uh, is he uh, your boss? Straylo? Yeah. Straylo's Stray one of them. Yeah. Whatever. He's one of the, I guess, the mothership I of guess executives. I guess technically he's one of our bosses. Yeah. Sure. Well, he's the head guy <laughs> at Talk Programming, <laughs> and we're Talk Programming. If he wants to feel like he's our boss, sure, okay, we'll give him that. Yeah, <laughs> okay. But he does have the worst phone. It is the worst thing. I will never it, buy a trio after I, hearing him. I have a trio. I refuse to use the phone part. No, I don't use the phone. I'll surf the internet. I'll get my email. Yeah. You know, a little, little this, little that. But, yeah, he calls. It's ridiculous. It sounds like he's got a power drill <laughs> right up to it. He's like, ah, Laszlo, hello. <laughs> oh, here we are in the information age. Great. Brushing his, brushing his teeth with a drill, though. <laughs> oh, we got Frenchie on the line. Should we go to him real quick? Oh, of course. All right, let's say hi to Frenchie. Hey, Frenchie, what's up? Hello, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> you think you could keep it a little clean for our uh, live audience today, Frenchie, oh, instead of, of that course, potty thank mouth? Thank you for what? letting me know. Otherwise, I was going to swear like a sailor. You got anything for the show today, Frenchie? Yes. You're just uh, happy we're that we mentioned you. you. Well, yes, I know. You were talking about the rat. Right? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> okay. And that He's people loved it when I cooked the rat with a little sauce of poivre. Remember when you did that? That was yeah. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to reiterate that again. Yeah. What happened? So what's well, up, Frenchie? 
We'll make some snakes the, like, the next time, if you like, guys. Snake? Can you, you can cook up snake? Of course I can. I can cook anything. I have alligator in my freezer at work. How about you cook up some material? Yeah. <laughs> you know, not for nothing, but Andrea Yates made a funnier call to 911. Oh, Are you there, too? You haven't lose your mind in uh, Vegas, huh, Norton? Well, he has a... Uh, pause around? He, he has an upset tummy. I'm sick, man. Oh, He's sick. Poor little Jimmy. He's got nothing. You have nothing today, huh, French? Uh, I think no, I'm we going to make work, use man. of that stylus. Oh, okay. Frenchy, thanks for calling. All right, take it easy, guys. Ugh. He was just very excited that we talked about his rat cooking. He had to call the program. Anything else that you've seen, Laszlo? Worth mentioning? No, nah, it's, it's garbage. It's just all garbage. I got to take a walk because this place is huge, and I haven't been to the home center. Yeah. Opie was, was there. What is it set up like real homes? It's amazing. They got living rooms yeah. and stuff. The and home and, automation and, stuff. It, it, like, there's so many companies pushing this, and, and it's from a complete paranoia level. Really? Oh, it's nuts. It's just like, your kids could die, you know? Like, <laughs> so you need a sensor. So the second that they open any door in the house, you know, it pops up in an instant message on your your uh, computer at work. You got to go over there. It's amazing that the kid has left cell block C and now he's in the. <laughs> this guy, yeah, pop. this guy was showing me. Well, you know, they've got the, the watches for kids now, mm -hmm. so that parents can get online and see their exact location on a map at any time. You know, really? Oh, dude, it's mm -hmm. like it. Why don't you just give the give the kid the ankle bracelet? The ankle bracelet. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just ridiculous. How many parents are going to use that uh, uh, for the kid's safety? Uh, but but you could also use it to see where you know your little girl is at night. Maybe she says she's going to a movie. Yep. Right. You could pop it up and see if she's at a certain address. Uh, and not at Jimmy Norton's house. You see, little, you see the little blip on the on the map going up and down real fast. And you know what she's <laughs> <laughs> what's even more ridiculous on the map. You can set red zones like Jimmy Norton's house. You can like make a uh, like a red zone. Get out of here. And when the little blip goes up, ar, 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 the alarms know? go off. <laughs> right. So if there's some boy that she's not supposed to see. Wow. Uh, yeah. Wow. That's crazy. How about it's that? Dude, nuts. there are going to be more psychologists making tons of dough in about 15 to 20 years. How about technology is probably there to have somebody, if you don't want your child hanging out with a certain person, and you get into cahoots with their parents, you'd give the kid another watch, and then if the two get together, they explode. the alarm would go off. Or Yeah, it explodes <laughs> and blows their hands off. <laughs> and then Ted Nugent can hold it or hold the thing. <laughs> <laughs> And you know how stu how uh, easy is that going to be to conquer? You just take the watch off, leave right. it in the library. Well, if you don't... take it off, it might set off an alarm too, like All the right. like the ankle bracelet would. You could really get into some really scary stuff with this technology. Oh, it's, yeah. they even had this. This guy was showing me a dog bowl yesterday, so that if the water, you know, gets the dog drinks all the water or whatever, you get an, an, a message on your phone. Really? I, I was like, dude, we do not need this much information, man. That your dog is out of water. What happened with leaving the toilet bowl lid open? <laughs> you know? Dogs are fine as long as the toilet's open. They should put a sensor on his ball so if he licks your face five minutes after he licks them, you know. <laughs> dude, they had this uh, this taser set up over there where this guy said, I, I will give you $100 if you can grab this out of my hand. And they hooked the two electrodes up to it and like a foot away and there's all these like cocky frat boys who are like yeah I'm gonna get a hundred dollars watch it <laughs> and the guy holds up he holds up the hundred dollar bill and the, the frat boy's about like two feet away looking at all his buddies going yeah we're gonna be the strippers tonight and he goes go and the guy hits the button and, go, and his face goes <laughs> <laughs> it just welds up and, and stuck falls over on the ground just like a rock. That was a great face for radio. It made us <laughs> wow. The tongue goes out to the side. They, the they're really tasering people at, yeah, at this dude, place? I, at this demo, I, it was unbelievable. Oh, fantastic. That really is I was cool. waiting for like the heart attack. I mean, yeah. The, the legal forms. <laughs> I'm like, sure. We will not sue us. Our show. Right. Can we get that for the studio? Wouldn't that be great? Oh, that would be great. The studio, how great would that be on a date? Hey, <laughs> are you in the mood? Well, that sounded like a yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to have to take a walk. I'm missing everything. All I'm seeing is stupid cars or videos. No, the home section is just off yeah. the hook. Got to go over there. Is that in this building or no? It's, uh, I, dude, this, I don't like, even know. I think that part is in another state. Yeah, the most ridiculous so thing I've heard of so far was the Wave Runner with a TV in it. Because when you're out on the, on the waves <laughs> right. on a personal watercraft, what you want to do is be watching television. It's all about video this year at CES. It is. Like he was saying earlier, even satellite radio, we're all bragging about uh, the video technology that's coming. Yeah, they got the big Escalade over there, and there's some type of video in there. Dude, when they start streaming video of this show to people's cars, oh, yeah. 
you are going to get sued 800 ways from Sunday. Absolutely. There are going to be there are people. Cherry darts. <laughs> I hit the yeah, yeah. bus. Yeah. <laughs> I got a rod. I got caught in the steering wheel. I hit the bus. <laughs> hey, can we do cherry darts tomorrow? At the um, convention? Are they allowed to get naked over there? No, the Venetians very strict. Oh, really? They're real sea blockers. They uh, <laughs> they are. I, there was I was walking out yesterday and there's this girl, uh, hot like I think she was a whore. She had uh, like a half of a uh, little bikini bottom, and she was dressed, but the security made a wrapper coat around her waist. You can't walk around with like a thong. No, it wasn't a thong though, but it was like short. I don't mean shorts. her. I mean you. Oh okay, yeah, no, <laughs> no, on my face, but I can't see. <laughs> yeah, no. So they made her put a uh, jacket over it. Because you have to dress appropriately when you're, you know, robbing somebody of their children's college tuition. <laughs> Scumbag casinos. There's, uh, I heard that they, they show videos at the displays, but they have to be edited, like no money shots. No, they're dirty, though, but they can't show, you they know. They can't show, like, money shots. Everything, right, right, right. Yeah, wow. Anthony, let's go to the phones. Henri wants to comment about Frenchie's last phone call. Henri, he's the, Henri, uh, he's, he's the new Frenchie. Yeah. Because Frenchie guys. sucks so bad on the air that the new Frenchie, uh... And, and now, and I believe on Andre, uh, he, he knows French. He just bombed, and he wants to rub it in now, right? Right, Go Andre. Ahead. What's up? Yeah, well, that is the one of the reasons I called because I heard him call up, and he sounded like he was recovering from his New Year's party, where I'm sure two people showed up, and one was a baby. So uh, I just wanted to say that, uh, and hope you guys are having a good time out there in Norton. Oh, so make sure to bring uh, a lot of keychains and herpes, okay? A lot of what and herpes? Keychains. Key bring home a lot of keychains and herpes for us, okay? Yeah, the bring back souvenirs for everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. All right, all right. Exactly. We're talking about car keys. I thought it was the, like a swinging party or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Give it, leave your keys in the basket. <laughs> Jimmy just goes in and steals all the keys. Bye, everybody. <laughs> the French are bombing today on our program. Oh. All right. Well, thank you, Laszlo. Uh, anything else that you forgot to mention? No. No. That, what games are you playing these days? Anything? I am. Uh, I'm still playing GTA. Are you? And yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm playing a little Doom 3. Are you playing some Doom 3? You check out uh, Half-Life 2 at all? No. No? Yeah, I've been playing that. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Nice. Good graphics. All right. Very psyched. As we go to break, we're going to play his Monster Rain spot that he did oh, for us. Oh, yes. Do we have to explain Monster Rain, you think? No. The it's listeners know what it is. Monster Rain. You think the listeners know? Yeah. If they don't, they'll catch it on a repeat. If you don't, go to foundermusic.com, and I'm sure you could look it up. Well, Monster Rain is a thing that uh, Jimmy used to do as a kid under the porch with other little boys when the rain was coming. It's it wasn't really dirty. rain, though. I would, I would, we would, me and my little friend would walk around, and um, we would yell, Monster Rain, and then we would hide under the porch to stay away from the Monster Rain. And while we were under the porch, we would perform oral sex on each other. Because <laughs> that's Dude. what you do when you're avoiding the rain. <laughs> And you should avoid the eye contact that oh, you're I don't want to tell right that story. <laughs> don't even look that way. Nah. You don't want to look that no. way. No, no, no. You were just a little kid. Did what you do did it on you know? sunny days too, or or just when you thought yeah, there was a rain really, cloud in it, the area? It wasn't really contingent on the weather. Oh, any day that ended with a Y. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, Laszlo is a friend of the show, and he 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 put uh, this together and. You got to do our show more often, bro. I'm into it. Yeah, right on. We'll do some sure, tech man. stuff. Just as soon as you go back to afternoons, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. I did morning radio. It is it is so tough to get drag. used to the schedule. We don't even know totally. what time it is now. I, I don't know. It's is it late back in New York? Is it morning still over there? All I know I, is seven o'clock last night. I felt I felt like it was four in the morning. <laughs> I'd been gambling, and it was like, whoa, what time is it? Seven, and I have to go back to the room. And yeah, I need my sleep. I'm so tired. Let me put in a movie. Ugh, and we're in disgusting. Vegas. We only have one hour of radio to do. <laughs> I know. We're halfway done with the show today. Have a do Ooh, I'm exhausted. When we come back, are the Playboy... Okay, the Playboy chicks are here, and George Wallace is going to stop by and say hi. Ooh. And Ooh. Penn was supposed to stop by, but what was the excuse? We get more excuses from publicists and yeah. agents and managers. We get these big names to... To come on the show, and then I guess they find out who we are or something, yeah, and then Penn it goes Gillette horribly wrong. Come on. What happened? Ben, you can grab the... For a second... He's sick. He's sick. He wasn't eating that uh, creamy tomato yeah. soup with Jimmy. No, they'll oh, never tell you the truth, man. Keeping bowlful. Uh, he was fine to go. He, he became sick. He yeah. became sick. All these faggot entertainers are so afraid of pissing off one person. They can't just call and tell you, look, I can't do the show because of this or that. they got to lie and grovel. With yeah, stuff going on with that. I bet, he'll make his, his, I bet he'll make a show tonight when he's got, you know, yeah, yeah. an arena full of people of over there. Of course he will. He plays every night. Oh, I'm sorry, there wasn't a cash register. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And, and when we get back, we got to talk about the Michael Jackson story. Maybe we can talk about that with the girls from Playboy, see if they got any chops. <laughs> chops on the Michael Jackson story? Yeah. It's All a right. sex thing, kind of, and that's Why what they not? do on Playboy radio, I think, when they're not reading erotic stories. Ooh. 
happening. Right? Yeah. It's, I've only listened to it a little bit, but it's actually very hot, what I've enjoyed. All right, we'll talk to them next, but first, it's Monster Rain. La uh, Laszlo did this. Check it out. He was just the boy next door. Mikey, where are you? <laughs> it's a game for kids that's sweeping the country. Jimmy, what are you doing? Jesus H. Christ, my little baby! Monster Rain. Monster Rain. The game you play under the porch. Monster Rain. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. From Las Vegas. Live from Las Vegas. Can we do apologize for that? Let's get their hotel rooms because they're all pooping green from alcohol poisoning. That is the sexiest thing I have ever seen. That is good. I like that. Thank you. Nice, nice to be in Vegas. Unleash the power of XM performance in your home. Enjoy the best radio experience from a component-style tuner that delivers XM's highest quality sound. Introducing the Polk XRT-12 XM Reference Tuner, the world's first XM component tuner designed for your home stereo system. Plus, add it to your family plan. You can add up to four additional XM radios for only $6.99 a month per radio. Discover the full sonic potential of XM satellite radio in your home. Go to XMRadio.com to learn more about the Polk Reference Tuner. It's the XM Radio Ski and Snowboard Report presented by Sun Valley, Idaho, America's original year-round destination resort. They announce new daily nonstop flights from the West Coast. Call 800-786-8259 for your Sun Valley ski vacation or visit sunvalley.com. We'll start in the Rockies where Park City got another 8 inches. That's 2 feet over the last 3 days. They have great powder conditions in all of their bowls. Same goes for Deer Valley and the Canyons. Breckin Ridge, Colorado and Jackson Hole, Wyoming got 8 inches over the past couple days. Mount Hood Meadows in Oregon skiing on pack powder, 6 different lifts, while Mammoth Mountain, California has more than 20 feet of snow so far this year. Sugar Mountain, North Carolina holding on to their terrain around a dozen trails for them and for 7 springs in Pennsylvania, while Killington and Okemo in Vermont both got a half foot of fresh snow. 30 miles for Okemo, 40 miles for Killington. I'm Chuck Devine with the XM Radio Ski and Snowboard Report. The world's first portable XM satellite radio. The Delphi XM Hi-Fi. Take me out. The first satellite radio that goes where you go. With its very own earbuds and rechargeable battery, you can listen to it just about anywhere. The Delphi XM Hi-Fi. Take me out. It lets you store up to five hours of programming. And it's effortless with no need to connect to the Internet. So wherever you are, you'll have the ultimate playlist. Go to XMRadio.com for more info. It's the O and A virus. XM two o two. XM news, talk, sports, and information. It's everything, all the time. Be an Anthony. XM two o two. Oh, ah, ah, ah. can I put your monkey down with the sickness? Can I put your monkey down with the sickness? Can I put your monkey down with the sickness? Open up your face and let them open the face. Can I put your monkey down with the sickness? You must not get up. Can I put your down with the sickness? You fuck up. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony program, the ONA virus spreading across America. We're in Las Vegas, a very rainy Las Vegas at the CES. It's, uh, I think it's snowing in the mountains around here. Yeah, it does that. This happens, what, once a year? And it, it, it picked the, the weekend we're out here. Yep. It rains in the winter. How you feeling, Jimmy? I'm all right, man. I'm just a little bit bad. No. You don't feel like you're going to puke or anything, do you? No. I actually no feel stomach like, cramps? No. no, I still my throat just a little bit, like, acidic. Oh. I'm all that vomit coming out. <laughs> God, can you imagine the, the maid that has to clean his room? Oh, between the, the whores and what they're doing in there and coming just... Come in in a biohazard suit with a squeegee. <laughs> <laughs> housekeeping. I didn't That's what you hear. You hear it from our uniform. Uh, housekeeping. Housekeeping. <laughs> Very nice. That's an awful job that has to be. When is George Wallace coming? A little later this hour? Yeah, he's in traffic. He's in traffic. Is that his excuse or? No, no, he's All right. George Wallace, very funny. Yes. We've had him on the show a bunch of times. And the van driver's going, and the van driver the whole time over is telling me, 
about what it could be that's making me sick. He's like, well, you know, it could be the tap water. He's, giving, he's just making me feel worse and worse. I'm like, just shut your fat face. You're not helping. Maybe it's the three greasy BLTs you had yesterday alone. I'm that's sure it it's the BLTs. You think so? You should not eat three BLTs in 24 there, there hours. There was a stack of bacon on this last one. Of course one. there was. all I tasted. And you gobbled it all down? Yeah. Did you have all grease around your mouth? And when you wiped your mouth with a napkin, it was just it made the napkin clear? Well, my friend in Vegas said I was supposed to hang with, of course, blew me off, as they all do. So I'm just such a loser just shoving bacon into my fat face. <laughs> You know what sucks about the the casinos and these hotels? They have all these really nice restaurants. I went for a late dinner last night. They, they all close at 10.30. That's oh, awful. So now we're sitting in like like this awful diner type place that you could do back home. You're supposed to eat earlier and then well, you they spend want the rest you at of the, the night tables. gambling. It's obvious they want you at the tables. It's amazing. Money from you if you're eating. A lot of people want to eat a little later in this town, mm -hmm. you know, but whatever. Uh, Dan from Wisconsin has a problem. Let's say hi to Dan. Dan, what's up? Danny. Dan? I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Hey, Dan, go ahead. Uh, Julian and oh, Tiffany aren't there yet, are they? Oh, no, they're coming in a second. Why, Why are you going to bash them? Because their show is lame. They offer lame advice, and I feel sorry for anyone who has to pay $4 a month for their show. It's $2 a month. $2? Oh, no, it's $3.99 yeah. a month. Oh, is it? Oh. Uh, so, you don't like their show? I like their show. You what do? I've heard of it, I liked it. Some of the advice this guy, is so lame. And if you listen to some of the guys who call in asking for help, you know, they just pull whatever out of their butts, you know. What? They're pulling stuff out of their butts and you don't like that? You sound like a guy who's an expert. Maybe you should give advice. Julie, this is a horrible way to meet, but this uh, guy doesn't like your show. I I whatever. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I don't like he's like, you know, well, I don't think. To the tsunami? Sir, what's what's a, what's an example of a advice that you think that was bad? Maybe the advice was good. She's got a problem with butt hair. This guy calls in and he's talking about butt hair or whatever. She's like, shave it off, you know. No girl deserves to go through that. But his gr his girlfriend or something says that she actually likes it. You know? Don't shave it. Just trim it. Yeah. Hello. Can you imagine wow. shaving your a hole? No. Prickly when it grows back. Ooh. Just Ooh. keep it trimmed. I mean, like we're gonna lick around a... there. We don't want pubes, you know. Like you're Hello? holding a pin cushion between your teeth. <laughs> <Right. laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's no good. Dude, no. there's something to be said for a smooth hiney, and I'm not just quoting the Michael Jackson article again, <laughs> <laughs> which we really got to get to in a few minutes here. All right, well, Dan, you don't like the show. There's, there's plenty of people that are enjoying you know, them. You know what? That's why XM has over what a hundred stations. Right. Just yeah, there there you go. One that gives you a rod each time, and. This one doesn't do that, so <laughs> I don't think this guy. Well, job. In, in this guy's defense, he sounds like a very exciting guy that probably needs <laughs> yeah. a lot more. Yeah. Let me tell you, it just seems like your advice is <laughs> shut on, up. Give me yeah. a break. Well, what, what do you find exciting then? I like the sexy stories. All right, so that that so you there like you their go. show then? You like that uh, segment of their show? It, that's not part of their show though. Well, oh well. Well, they do a different type of show. But what do you want to do? Just whack your bag 24 hours a day on the station? The what, guy yeah. didn't like ass hair advice, and he's what, freaking out about it. I want to know what he would like us to talk about. Like, what's oh. sexy to you? Well, yeah. Besides sexy stories, give us some of your. Key. Well, it's kind of hard to be sexy on the radio, and sexy to me is like sexy stories. Give us some of your past stories of. Why don't uh, you give one? She's saying. Why don't you say something yeah. that you think is sexy, so she'll have an idea of what yeah, it is what you're looking like, for. Yeah, I like to find hear what sexy. Done with her boyfriends in the past. How about you say something? What do you like to do? Go with ahead. It? Give the girls a sexy story, yeah. sir. A real one. Uh, well, I'm a 19-year-old boy, and uh, a couple of years ago, I was with this girl, and her parents really didn't like me, so I would take her to the woods and do things with her, do oral favors. And, uh, How many years younger than you, is she? Uh, three. All right. Are you wanking off right now? No. <laughs> Sounds like it. He's out of breath. See, I think you're weird. Like, yeah, you're yeah. actually jacking like off of with Opie and Anthony, and, and you don't right. like our That's show. That's why he doesn't like us. He's, All right. He's, Let's, you I, know, think, I think that he's way. gay. I want to hear his erotic story about last prom night. Well, I was home alone, whacking off with a... <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, Dan, don't you don't like the show. Come on. Come on. I know Thank you were doing you, it Dan. to me. I, believe me, I know I'm a zero. I just don't criticize hot chicks because I didn't give the advice I wanted them to give. Aww. I was yeah. in the woods with a girl, and I hit her in the head with a shovel. Right. And buried the body in a <laughs> shallow grave. 
Who's more exciting, Dan from Wisconsin or Super Agent Bob Eatman? Oh, I think that is Super Agent Bob <laughs> yeah, Eatman. My I don't like your show. You need new representation. <laughs> He's mad because you, you wouldn't tell him how to dig easier in January when the ground is frozen. <laughs> like, All right, freak. Dan. Thank you. Right, bye. Bye, fella. Well, that's bye. a that's a bad way to meet each other. I'm sorry, well, girls. Well, it's okay. You know, we like we tool. like critique. We like to hear all. You know, absolutely. Give it to us. Of course. Well, that's Jim Norton and uh, his, his friend uh, Jim Florentine thinks uh, you guys have the best show on XM Satellite Radio. Oh. He goes from one extreme to the other. He he does whack his bag when he's going. From, oh yeah, he has from, from gig to gig because he you know he's a comedian and he's driving all over the East Coast and he turns you guys on and he has like Kleenex right on the dashboard. Right? You ever listen oh. to crank? You ever see Crank Yankers on Comedy Central? Yes. The retarded puppet special Ed. Yay! Yeah. He whacks off listening to you. Wow. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that that's is, right. That he does so the voice. Cool. Sure. I love that. I'm honored. <laughs> Tell him I'm honored. Truly. <laughs> Very cool. Truly. Did you guys like your signing that you were doing before? Always. Sure. I mean, an hour. Come on. Come on. Why are you laughing? laughing? Be honest. No, see. They're a little creepy looking. No, They're not see, here anymore. You haven't been signing. You have never signed over on the adult side. That's creepy. They're all kind of sweaty and drooling. Ew, you know, yeah. so really? they, they're yeah. very well behaved over here. So that, that was a treat for you guys? Absolutely. This was, yeah, this, was yeah, this is wow. easy. Nice, clean suits. Uh -huh. like aftershave today. Later is the ugly side. They look like a Megan's Law photo op. That's <laughs> the worst group of people I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, really, the adult side is a little uh, sleazy. Have you guys checked it out at oh, all? Yeah. Well, Jimmy has. Yeah. Well, we're we're going to head over Please. there. I mean, Take a look. you got to go today, I hear. Yeah. yeah. It's the like insanity. Insane. Today's the day? Yeah. Yeah. Today and tomorrow will be insane. We're yeah. doing a show from there tomorrow. So mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you'll see. Of, oh, yeah. I think yeah. we're, you guys are broadcasting, right? Yeah, and, today and then, from 2 to 5. Okay, and then tomorrow we're taking over your spot, I guess. Yeah, or there whatever, you go. In a couple hours. Oh, How's okay. it hooked up? Where are you? There's a lot of traffic there, a lot Lots of fun of people right passing on the walkway. by. No, yeah. by the time when you guys are there, it's like shoulder to shoulder. Really? It'll be so crazy. You can't even get through. From where you guys are... To the front entrance might take you about an hour just oh to get through the crowd. God. Seriously, how exciting! Huh? Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. And yeah. this is nice. quite this, this is quite the setup here. Yeah, nice and peaceful. You kind of have to scream over there. You do. Yeah, yeah. can't hear. No. How long the show we doing? Only two hours, I think. Right? Two hours. Just two hours. Yeah. Another good. two hour throw away. Good. Yeah, we're just doing throwaway shows. The visual is really nice. There's a TV screen directly across from where you guys will be that's showing. Um, 1970s. Vintage porn. Yeah, vintage oh, really? Porn. So nice. lots of bush. Oh, lots, lots of, of bush. Big, thick. Yeah. yeah. His porn mustache. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The full effect. The pork yeah. top sideburns. So yeah. it's a nice visual right across from where you are. Is it true you were the first one to do um, anal? Ever? Contract? Well, well, <laughs> ever. Wow, you're well, cool. I invented well, it, yeah. You get a well, nickel every time there's a prison rape? <laughs> 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 first one contracted to do anal on film or something like that? Um, yeah, I, I, I invented that, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was that girl. Yeah, I was one of the first, uh, you know, A talent to do it. How does someone come up to you and go, well, look, this is what we want you to do? Just I like mean, that. Really? Yeah. And what was your first reaction? Ouch. Because <laughs> um, now it's you know it's in every film, but back yeah. then you got to think, whoa, this is a little freaky, back right? When? Yeah. How long ago was that? Oh gosh, ten years. Two, ten years, years ago. What was your whole name in the, the film? I didn't know. I didn't Excuse know, me. What was your? your, your celebrating name? its tenth Julie anniversary, Ashton. Anthony. Oh, Ashton. <laughs> yeah, Ashton. Devil and Miss Happy Jones. Birthday, yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, anal. Happy birthday, anal. You do the yeah. devil and Miss Blow Jones. this out. Yeah. Yeah. So, um. I like it in my private life, yeah. so oh. I didn't mind. What about, we had a girl yesterday, this was interesting. Yeah, she's hello. She's like 22, she's been in the business seven months. She's done 220 films. She's worked every, every day. Every single day. Sometimes all twice. Anal. All anal. <laughs> wow. wow. You should see her, you guys should see how she stands. Well, it's so scary, she can't even stand up. Oh like, my she's God. like pygmy body. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she's like arched all weird and like, it's kind of crazy. What, what does she do in the off season? Smuggle bales of marijuana? <laughs> <laughs> She's a mule so, every day. Every day. Every day. So her and her boyfriend only do vaginal. Because, because that's yeah. more intimate. Anal. It's more intimate to her. Yeah. yeah. You, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta save something for the boyfriend, right? Exactly. Something you know. for the boyfriend. Something. Who was the guy your scene was with when you when you did it? Do you remember? The first the first anal, anal. scene. Um, Contracted. No, I don't know. Really? Ten years ago. Come on, man. Yeah. Who were you banging ten years ago? By the Ooh. same person I am now, me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know Paul Thomas? 
Sure. I want to um, get him on the air someday. He's a, he's like a legendary. Who's Paul Thomas. He's a legendary porn guy. He's been around mm -hmm. for, for 25 years. A yeah. vivid he, director. He's a great director, and he's actually was a very fine uh, actor. But he's Could actually. Could you stop, stop saying fine great actor? No, director. No, he, he's a great porn time, director. He's great. No, the time that he came up is when there was a big strike in Hollywood. It was an actor's strike, so a lot of really good actors, including Paul Thomas, Moved over to adult because they couldn't get work. They, Jamie Gillis, okay. Jamie too. Gillis, uh, Randy Spears were mainstream actors, and then during the strike, that's when they decided to start doing adult because they had to pay their bills. Well, oh. Paul Thomas is notoriously one of the biggest perverts, and you wouldn't know it from his movies, but off camera, mm -hmm. he's notoriously one of the. How biggest did you find that out, fella? Other, other people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you notice sure. I, I walked in with a limp. <laughs> no, he was not. He's actually just you know I know people that know him, and they said that he's the biggest. Freak in the entire business. I'd love He's to in Jesus it. Christ Superstar, the movie. Is he really? Yeah, cool. Really? Wow. How okay. about that? That's Preferred free. A little it. bit of trivia. Kind of a real yeah. credit. All right. Jim knows all of them. I mean, he was showing me his pictures yesterday. He's like, this is butt man. He revolutionized the whole business. He did he? And, With the camera work he did? He was yeah. kind of pointing yeah. the camera work he was fantastic. I just, I just watch the films and enjoy them. I know. I, I don't pretty know. much watch yeah, until you, uh, yeah, what's going you finish. On behind the scenes? Watch until you do your money shot. And then. Uh, I watch uh, 10 minutes at a time. Click. That's what people do. So, um,. George Wallace is here. Thanks, Ben. Oh, cool. Went for a walk. He'll be back in 10 minutes. Thank awesome. you. What's the hot uh, thing to do in porn now? I mean, back 10 years ago, the anal thing was starting right. up. But well, now, where you know, you got to be it's more it's and more. Freak show. Yeah, exactly. It's a yeah. double freak show. Anal. Hello. Double uh, anal. Excuse me. Um, oh, right, right. I like um, pink eye videos, you know, where the guy, like, blows his load in their eyeballs. They hold the girl's eyelids open. <laughs> that's a nice one, yeah. That's, a, that's hot Are right you now. kidding me? No. Yeah. That's yeah. the truth. That's it seems to be a little pain. Um, the okay, the pain swallowing guy. goldfish, and then like love six that one. loads of cum, and then you throw it up, and, and then, then eat, eat it that again. Up. <laughs> these, are, right. these, these are, are what, hot things today. Yeah, yeah. This is what you know, this is I know you're getting turned on just thinking about <laughs> yeah. it, aren't you? <laughs> that's, that's great. Yeah, why wow. is it? Why is it going to the freak show route? Why? Julie, like, I'll let Is it because there's that. so much out there? I think the Absolutely. extreme like, reality show thing is kind of filtered into yeah, the everything. adult Everything. TV is extreme. World, so, everything. Yeah. Is, life is becoming extreme. You've got to keep pushing or else you're going to get ignored. Yeah. So, but, you know. There's nothing sexy. And, like, I'm a pervert. Absolutely not. But go, that's like the degradation. I mean, look, I, I, I've been used as a toilet. What fella hasn't? But the, <laughs> eat goldfish and throw them up. I mean, it's... Right. Well, well with jizz. With the load. Like, oh, oh okay. I stand corrected. So that, I oh, that makes well, it hot. Yeah. Hey, yeah. what about pregnancy videos? <laughs> Those, Those are, are big. big right now too, like pregnant oh. women lactating. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you think that's nothing. sexy? Does There's something nothing. for everybody. Yeah. No, Sunset it. Thomas used to do that when she when she first got the. Oh, oh, really? Nothing. Yeah. We go way back with Sunset Thomas. No, I mean to see a pregnant woman is kind of a turn on, but. The whole lactating thing and all that? Nah. Yeah. No, nah, not at all. You do like the Prego videos, though. He has a little bit of this. No, no, no. It's yeah. not, I, oh. No, it's not about, you know, like. watching them bang. No. Just seeing a pregnant woman on the street is sexy oh. to me. Hmm. Yes. You mean on the street or walking? <laughs> walking, I should yeah. Yeah. Walking See one the street? Under a delivery <laughs> truck. <laughs> and it's Scott Peterson. Jim's, Jim's into in a like, rowboat. <laughs> Jim's into the golden showers and... And even worse. No, no worse. Scat? No, no, no. Oh. If it slips out, who's He's looking? a scatter. Oh, oh really? <laughs> He's You're into the dirty. scat. No, 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 I'm not. If it, if it happens, I just don't want to embarrass her by saying anything. Have so you I had it happen? We had a girl that pooped um, on our show. Really? Yeah, in, when she was studio. Yeah. in studio. We had to throw the chair away. <laughs> Why? She, on the chair? Yeah, she pooped yeah. the chair. What, she sneeze? She, uh, she no, squit. She she squit. What's she was that? squirting and shit at the same time. Squirt. Anthony squirt. Didn't know it had a word. Everybody. Squit. Yeah, now you learn. So it's educational programming <laughs> today. Squitter. It's wow. Yeah. It's our. It's making our cherry dark it's thing <laughs> seem pretty. Oh, yeah, pretty low key. Yeah. She's like. We're you gonna know, have she's to like do a, a radio famous. show with you guys. Yeah. We're gonna have to like combine the two shows Absolutely. for a day. Yeah. Absolutely. Just for a day. But he li he lays down uh, plastic and everything. Yeah. Sometimes. Really. Little GS. Yeah. 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 So you're into it. Sure. Do you have a regular pisser? Yeah. 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 You do. Regular. See, Julie, that's. Are you into that? What? I like the golden no. in the shower. No, no. No, I don't use the shower. You no. like it all over the place. No, just on me. Oh, how that. about the polar bear? This is a good one. She goes out and uh, she lives up in the, you know, super cold. Stands outside until she can barely take it anymore. She's so frozen. Yeah. Comes in, lays in the bathtub, and he pees on her, and, it's and steam. the steam coming up gets her off. I'm gonna try that. That sounds yeah. like you. No, that's 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 her king. What? Weird. The is that weird? hell is going on? <laughs> I don't like any fetish. I can only satisfy six months out of a year in Alaska. There's no reason. 
I thought she was going the necrophilia route. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. No, no. I was getting scared. No, no. It, it had it's a nice ending. It. Come on. It had a nice ending there, right? <laughs> theme. Yeah. Which must just smell like a subway. <laughs> are you into, so are you into the squirters? Yeah. I mean, okay. I've only had one in my yeah. life that was real. Yeah. That was real. Yeah. Okay. Like, like I knew was that's what yeah. she did. Yes. This girl. Uh, can we say who it is? Cytheria. Yeah, yeah, I just got a video. Oops. Yeah, I just got a video. Yeah, she's Yes, she is. Big Again, time. Jimmy knows all yeah, the names. Yeah. Oh, I Yo- just picked up the video. Yo, she sent me one. He wrote Cytheria on the thing because I'm, I'm into that. He She'll be there she's today. Yeah. Oh, she's it lovely. It hit the entire wall. Yeah. Got all over the equipment. <laughs> In our studio. <laughs> like the glass tsunami. on the uh, yeah. control booth. Our boss yeah. right now is looking on. Very proud of us. No, <laughs> boss. My God. We keep it G-rated for everybody. No <laughs> he problem. He said PG-rated. PG. Just, oh, we PG. haven't said any bad words. Oh, yeah. We haven't, we haven't cursed. Yeah. No, Kevin Kennedy's not. on. We talk baseball. And then the, the now us. girls are on. We talk about yeah, sex. Yeah. yeah. That's what we do on this program. And then yeah. George Wallace. And then George yes. Wallace will you know. bring in the funny. Yes. He'll be back. And what's up with the drill dough thing? We had a girl do the drill dough on our show. Oh, the fuck machine you did. See, you watch the words, T. What? What do you mean watch the words? Oh, we're not allowed to say them? You can say whatever you want. (laughs) Technically, we're allowed, but... Okay, sorry. No, we are XM. Okay, yeah. (laughs) Technically, but because we're in front of a live audience today... Sorry, everybody, cover your ears out there. There are certain people that think we should probably keep the language. Okay, so the drill dough machine, you did that. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we had that in studio. You like it? It's not very intimate, you know. There's no hugging, <laughs> kissing. It's just we had this True. audio of one of our listeners doing the drill dough to his girlfriend, and it's it's we play it a lot. She was screaming like she was. It was being unbelievable. A, like, just so then our listeners yeah. decided to start making more like drill dough type instruments. Tell oh. them about the uh, the one. Oh, the that latest one we got wrong. was a, a sawzall. Which is a reciprocating saw. We had that on yeah. Playboy TV. Yeah. You did? Yeah. We didn't have our yeah. version. But not our version, because <laughs> really? this guy made it at home, and he took a, uh, a dildo and glued it on a sawzall blade. Now, if you've ever seen a reciprocating saw, it's pretty much just this handheld device with a saw blade that goes back and forth sure. that sticks out of the front of it. Yeah. It's, you can cut anything with it. Yeah. He just put the dildo on the saw blade and glued it there. So as he's using it, thank God not on a woman, he's just kind of doing it in the air, the it blade came, came flying right out of the side of the tilt. No! And Awful. We're, and we're th- just thinking, boy, that would have looked great in the newspaper. Home, uh, yeah, Opie home. and Anthony, once again, now they killed somebody oh, with a drill dough device. <laughs> yeah, so we, we, we don't use that one. Yeah, what's no, up for no, homemade sex careful. toys? You heard what happened to us, right? Yeah. The sex at uh, St. Pat's? Yeah, yeah, you're bad boys. We yeah. know this about you. Yeah, you're yeah. Bad. That's why you're here now on XM. So it's good evil. though. It's, it's good beautiful. for all of us. We love it's it for all of us. So we know yeah. now your background with a uh, background with the anal thing. But yeah. uh, what, what's what's your background and expertise? She's in, not, you're not a porn star, right? No, I'm just a big mouth. I, I'm really not an expert. I'm just no. a chick with an. She's opinion. like in this gray okay. area. Yeah, you know? I'm in the gray area. I'm right on the cliff. TNA. Of everything. She shows stuff and yeah. you know, I'm I'm you Playboy know. girl. Oh, nice. But okay. I don't, you know, yeah. I don't take it you know, up the ass or anything. Boobs. I'm. Boobs, you know, yeah. the Matt chick. Ass, right? And you give and advice to I give people advice, that call well, up? Well, as, as myself, like, you know, here's how I feel about it. Mm. Yeah. And I'm not judging you. It's just my opinion. Yeah. And I'm that totally you're surprised that he doesn't like <laughs> I do that a lot. I'm surprised that guy doesn't like it because we give such man advice. We're really like, you know what, guys, if you want sex, take it. Right. We do. From your spe- you know, not from like the that girl down the street. Good. I know. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> you want I'm sex, not advocating just take rape. It. I'm yeah. just saying, like, if you're in well, a relationship. There's a lot of guys out there that want sex, so. That's, it. That's great. If candy, no. doesn't, if candy doesn't work, buy a hammer. <laughs> right. yeah. no, I'm saying in a relationship, you know, you've been married for eight years and she's not putting out. Come on, she's your wife. She Step owes you. Up. You yeah. bet she does. It's her Ooh. job. Yeah, it is. You, you know? Go. I mean, you can always you have, take our fishing later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take control of right. the situation. We like that. We actually like that. you've like heard that. it all with this uh, show of yours, huh? Yeah. What was the craziest thing you heard that some guy was into? Oh, Ted likes to put um, Q-tips in his wiener. In the, all right. Uh, oh, the phone. With mentholatum, mentholatum with the as lube. <laughs> as lube. That's right. He calls in with that going on. Yeah. Oh, God, I can't even... Don't knock that. it till you try it, man. What, what, do you, what do you do while that's happening? Just cry and go, I'm sorry, Mommy? That's, that really is childhood psychosis coming out. And and it, he does it live on your show? Yeah. yeah Can we steal it. that one? Oh. Oh. Sure. We have to steal oh, that one. Yes, yeah. that's a good one. I we have to steal even be that in one. the same building where that was going on without mm-hmm. losing my mind. Hey, we got a MyFi to give away, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 
the first caller there. <laughs> but instead of oh. mentholatum, you got to use gasoline. Oh, <laughs> wow, yeah. that's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah that's that true. is. You know, yeah. other people want us to uh, ride. Uh, no, They're he m- wants to ride his mother like a horse while we spank her and yell "giddy up." That's Things a like that. Issue. And the um, guy's dead serious. He's not just calling dead to, serious. to yeah. goof around. Because we uh, get the goof callers now. Oh, yeah. No, we just get, but you think they're pretty real. It's frightening that they're real. What does his mother look like? Good mm. question. Is she hot? Like Maybe. hot milf? It's uh, radio. We don't know. Oh, she gives a shit. Okay. I doubt it. Based on his voice, I don't know. It just... Mm. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, so. we've had yeah. milfs on the show a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot mm-hmm. of that. And a lot of guys just whack The mayonnaise in a sock. That's Maybe. a re- mayonnaise in a sock is a great. You know, if your ha- your hand gets tired, try that. <laughs> mayonnaise in a sock. Mayonnaise in a really? tube sock. In a yeah. sock. I thought that was a David Cross CD. <laughs> <laughs> like I've the, never heard of that one. It's like yeah. the homemade vag, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. What else yeah. do you use? Quick and easy. Um, we get the peanut butter, butter a lot, sticky, but not. Don't use chunky. Use the smooth Ow. peanut butter. Oh, of course Wait, not. What do you do with the peanut butter? On your hands or? Yeah, and then yeah. you masturbate with it. Ugh. I don't know. We hear. I don't know. It's not me. Like that. Yeah. Fred Dur- uh, Durst, didn't he tell us about the cantaloupe? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, he's oh you microwave it, but don't microwave it for too long because right, then it'll right. burn, but you've got to get it just warm. You nuke it so it gets warm, mm-hmm. and then you put, 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 like, put a, like a hole, hole in yeah. it. Yeah, we, we know that. a lot of ideas today. <laughs> if you're Very standing helpful. there with a cantaloupe on there, they have a lot there of just better not be a mirror nearby, because if you get a, a gander at you doing that, <laughs> yeah. you probably shoot yourself in the head. That would be a perfect time for a heart attack, you know? <laughs> no, <laughs> please. And then mom has to find you. Find you at home with a cantaloupe, cantaloupe. on there. <laughs> oh. Just wonder. Because, you know, it's not like you're, you're steadily dating and you're, you're getting a lot of action, and one night you're not getting any, and you decide to go for the cantaloupe. Yeah. That's just months of it's not sad. getting any action. Yeah. That really you look sad. at the cantaloupe and go, that looks yeah, pretty good. that's hey, a sexy cantaloupe. I like it. And your mother calls and said, the juice man says that if you could replace a cantaloupe <laughs> with a citrus. <laughs> now, you, you've done a carrot. Uh, oh, we got to play that going into break. Well, girls if using fruits or vegetables easier. is yeah. different exactly. than a guy using it. So true. It's, it's kind of a more accurate representation. Right. And also, it's very accepted uh, for girls to use toys and devices. Where And I've heard a comic uh, do this. Who the hell does that bit? Um, uh, but girls can use the, the dildo devices. Sure. And it's perfectly, perfectly acceptable. But a guy has to use these weird things that's just like a chunk of an ass made of rubber. Julie yeah. has you one kinda, of those. Hey, it's, you know, I have one. She has. Really? It's yeah. Julie or just a ass. cut out private yes. area like you, you know, yeah. like you hacked we it off a, of somebody. She got her ass in one of those boxes. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Your ass was used as a model for that? Yeah. Nice. I do remember we had one on our TV show that was like this rubber thing and it, it looked like a Cornish hen. It looked like a Cornish hen. <laughs> hen for real. <laughs> So people, yeah, will just Lovely. stick their thing in yeah. that. But that's men for you. I mean, they'll, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't take much. They'll put it in there. It you doesn't. have to sign your own butt when these guys come walking up to you. They walk it's up. Kinda you. Heavy, it's kind of heavy, so really they don't heavy. really carry it with them. That's creepy, you know? man. We had one of those at the toys. studio, and we'd slap it down on the table and just yeah. make some vulgar sound when that it awful hits noise. That yeah. rubber yeah. hitting the table, mm-hmm. knowing it's ready for action. It's ready. You could Give smack it and lube it up with the the KY. Yep. And then who's washing those things out? It just doesn't seem like oh, something... Yeah. You got to oh. throw all that in the dishwasher after you're done. <laughs> like, that's the problem. Yeah. Once you're finished, you're really not into anything afterwards, like cleaning up, yeah. because it just adds right. to the degradation. We've talked about that on our right. show. Uh, you know, when you're with somebody and you're doing some of this freaky stuff, it sounds like a good I- uh, idea at the time, but then as soon as everyone's done, you're looking around like, oh, uh, God, this is kind of embarrassing. Yeah. Who hasn't yeah. been drunk with their chick at some point and decided, you know, let's get... Let's get the razor out and yeah. shave each other. Yeah. And it sounds like a great idea, and there's oil involved and, and shaving going on. And then you get done, and you're like, oh, Ew. God, i got to go to work. What if I have an accident? <laughs> what if i got to go to the hospital? And, and then a couple of days, you're like, oh, like you got oh, the mange. Yeah, it and it just turns into a really bad idea. Well, you yeah, realize you messed up and shaved her head. Now she looks like she has cancer. <laughs> <laughs> so he has to go Sicko. there. I'm, I'm sorry. Sicko, you are. Egg. Yeah. Well, he, he doesn't grow hair on his arms. Look at that. His really? arms That's... are so fine and hairless. Touch it. It's yeah, like yeah, nothing. It. What are mm-hmm. what, what uh, ethnicity just touch it. are you? What's that? What hairless ethnicity are you? I'm um, uh, Irish. Feel how wispy. With no hair. Just no feel hair. how wispy. Feel how wispy that hair is. Do you is have on his hair arm. down there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're so dainty. That's dainty. <laughs> For you listening at home, this is our new bit. Enjoy it. I love that one. Twice so Yummy. <laughs> that is Scared hilarious. me. <laughs> he does scare you. Yes, yes, he does. Yes. Whether he's doing that or not.
All right, well, we got to take a break. It's been great. we got to have you guys Thank on the you. show more often. Vice versa. If you guys are in L.A., you know, we, we broadcast from Corn Valley, so we kind of have the Valley, edge LA. on you guys. Or you can bring oh, us up where no. you're from. No, screw it. We're going to Porn Valley. Yeah. Right. Porn Valley. Can we let's, do that Monday? Let's trade off. <laughs> we go Monday? Is that yeah. on the nav systems of the new vehicles? Yes, you just absolutely. Punch in Porn Valley, Valley and it takes you right there? I don't even know where Dude, that we is. we got to bro- broadcast from Porn where Valley. Where is Porn Valley? Woodland Hills? Woodland Hills? Right around there? Chatsworth. Near Silicon Valley? Yeah. Jimmy knows. It's very appropriate, isn't it? It's right right below. below. Horn Valley is right below Silicon Valley. (laughs) Yeah, so come visit us. Right by Vag Village. (laughs) So off to the side and you make a left. Yeah. Oh, we can keep going on that. That's good. Of course. Wiener, down across Wiener Way. Wiener Way. <laughs> <laughs> it's Julie and Tiffany, you guys. Let's hear it for Julie and Thank Tiffany. Thank you very much. Short, Short drive, channel on Short drive up the Hershey Satellite. Highway. <laughs> yeah. That old gag. <laughs> you know, I think as we go to break, uh, Norton talks about his his uh, exploits with the prostitutes, okay? Excellent. He's, yeah. he's very honest and open about it. But the problem is his mom listens to the show. Oh. And yeah. so... Yeah. Uh, his mom left this message on his answer machine. At yeah, home. real message. A real message. Real message. Trying to give little Jimmy Norton some advice. So we'll check this out. And when we come back, it's George Wallace, everyone. Hi, sweetheart. It's mom. How are you? Jimmy, I know this is a little awkward, but everyone's fine here. But I, we heard the radio show. We love it, by the way. And you were talking about giving up, you know, the ladies of the evening. Um, which is a wonderful thing. But you know what? Dr. Phil always says replace something with something. So I was thinking, you know, you have that nice gym downstairs. And, you know, just for like 20 minutes to half an hour and you would feel better. Use that. And also there's gyms in New York you could go. You could exercise. And uh, you would feel a whole lot better. You'd lose a little weight. You'd tone up. And you relieve, you know, tension and stuff. And you'd be meeting other people. I don't know, honey. I just thought it might be a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm interfering. I know. I just i am thinking of you. Nobody knows I'm calling. So uh, don't get offended or think I'm strange, but I am a mother, and I worry about you. You're doing so well. Everything's falling into place. This might be just one of the, you know, the health thing. It would help, it would help you, sweetheart. Well, anyway, that's it. I'm not going to go on. And I know it's not my business. But anyway, I love you, and I feel I can interfere because I'm your mother. I'm taking special license. But anyway, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at Christmas. I really hope you can make it. And uh, anyway, don't be mad at me, okay, sweetie? I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Gentlemen, welcome to Las Vegas. Live from Las Vegas. What a hot voice that is. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. That's on which member of the show comes home in a body bag. Dude, what happened? You're going to hate us today. You're going to hate us. The Opie and Anthony Show. Got some hookers in my room. Did you get what you wanted this holiday? Maybe a Delphi XM SkyFi was in the mix along with those fruitcake-like objects. Well, here's an idea. Get the Delphi portable audio system for just $199. It's a dock for your SkyFi receiver, so it travels conveniently. It also plays CDs, MP3s, AM and FM. And right now, it comes with a free charger and six free rechargeable batteries, a $60 value. Get it, and you've got XM to go. Just visit Delphi.com slash free. Limited time offer. SkyFi receiver sold separately. XM service required. Details online. Oh, thanks, It's an Opie and Anthony wow sticker stop. This Wednesday, January 12th, get to the Acme Oyster House in the French Quarter in New Orleans, Louisiana, and pick up your wow stickers. Whoa, those aren't real. Yes, they are. Lunchtime at the Acme Oyster House, 724 Iberville Street, New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm getting an erection as we speak. Once again, here is how it should sound. The wow sticker stop, brought to you by your pals at the Opie and Anthony Show. We've made it even easier for you to give XM. Share the XM experience with your friends and family, especially with XM Service gift cards. It's a convenient and flexible way to give XM Service. And you can order gift cards, XM radios, accessories, and gear at the XM Radio online store. Check out XM's new online store at XMRadio.com. and dreams of 30 major league teams are told on XM Satellite Radio like never before. Hear every play, every team. 
From spring training to the World Series, hear it on XM Satellite Radio, the official satellite network service of Major League Baseball. It's radio to the power of X, all included as part of your basic monthly service plan. XM 202, The and Anthony Show. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony program, broadcasting live from the CES. Tomorrow, broadcasting live from the, the porn convention, Anthony. The girls yes. from Playboy were great, weren't they? Yeah, it was very cool. Yeah, we're doing the tech thing today, George, and then tomorrow it's all about the porn stars. Yeah, why you bring me here with cars? I want to be with the porn industry. Who doesn't? You're yeah, right. <laughs> Enough with the cars, right? Right. What can you do in a car? What can you do with a car? Bring on the bitches. Talk to me, somebody. Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome. It's good Thank to you. see you. George I... Wiles used to do our program when we were on regular radio right. in New York City. Yeah, look at you guys. God bless you. Let's give them a big had... oh, hand. <laughs> thank you. Good to be here. Thank you. Yeah, we had a little problem. Hey, I don't know whether God's going to bless you too or not. <laughs> But yeah, it's okay. You ought to be Satan bless us or something. Well, what you did, I would have done the same thing. That's all I'm going to say, okay? There you go. You, wouldn't be, open, you wouldn't be open to Anthony it, if you didn't do what you did. It was a misunderstanding. Totally, totally. And, and, you know, speaking of controversy, your nephew caused a, a bit of controversy. Well, you That's know, one of the greatest sports video of all time. You understand that, right? And I have to tell everybody in my audience. He's related every, to Ben Wallace. Every who, who pretty night, much started the fight. Your nephew? Every night at... at Flamingo, before my show starts, I have to tell everybody in the audience, if anybody throw a cup of them on that stage, I'm coming out there and kick your ass, okay? I'm kicking your ass in the person. Matter of fact, I, oh, hi, how you guys doing out there? <laughs> I yeah, wanted to kick somebody's ass out here, but they look tough. He comes there. from a sports family. He was just I only know of uh, Ben Wallace, but there's a couple wow. more that have... Uh, How about Steve Wallace? Played for the 49ers for 13 years. Steve Wallace, that's my nephew. Three Super Bowl rings, okay? I'm money to my playing right now. That's my nephew. He plays for the New York Giants. Number yeah. 81. You know that, don't you? Hell yeah. Bobby Hamilton, who's playing for the Oakland Raiders right now. He played for the New England Patriots for two years. So we got six Super Bowl rings in my family. Can you believe Jesus. that? That's a blessing, isn't it, Jim? Wow. That's Why are amazing. you looking at me with your mouth open? Nah, he's I'm impressed. There's trust me. certain things I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we don't, I didn't need, know you maybe we don't need to go to the porn convention. He said certain things he's good with his mouth open. Now let me ask you a question. Um, yeah, so we got six Super Bowl rings in the family. That's 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 a big blessing, don't that's you think? Pretty so? impressive. Very impressive. Sure. And I have to think about that sometimes. Hey, a lot of guys play football all their life and never get one, and we have six in the family. It's pretty nice. I'm that's gonna... damn impressive. Yeah. So. Uh, you guys got your New York Post here? Yeah, today? yeah. well, the big story today, what I don't even this? know if we're going to get to it. What it's is a, this? It's uh, Michael Jackson. I don't know what that is. That well, is a freak of nature. What he, you know, when I'm president of the, these United States, you know what I'm going to do, don't you? I'm going to lock up everybody to drop the kids off at Michael Jackson's house. First of all, why would you drop your kids off at this They're time? still dropping them off. Listen, he's, this man's almost 50 years old and still climbing trees in high heel shoes. <laughs> You're going to drop your kids off over there? <laughs> You know, he has a reputation. Well, you guys, he already had to pay one kid, what, $21, $22 million? Yep. Yep. I don't know whether he was guilty or not. All I know is I wish it had been my son. <laughs> $22 million. Get in that room, boy. Now, that's the only you reason I wanna, can think of. You don't want to go? I'll go. When I move, you move. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop being selfish. Right? <laughs> that is the only reason I can see of uh, dropping your kids of dropping off. your kids off there is if you want to capitalize on it. But I right. think this was the motive of this lady. They're finding out. I don't know what's in the paper today. Now, I don't know where is the story. Oh, this some is, ugly allegations coming out of there. This is the New York Post, right? Well, yeah. And you know I live in New York Post. Let's go to page six. You know, one thing about New York the Post. Page six could be on page eleven, page thirteen. It's all very odd, in New isn't York. it? Yeah. Well, we don't count well in New York, so well, it doesn't matter. It and a lot of things are different in New York. Central Park, it's not central. It's on the west side. Did you know that? Anything on the right side of, of, of Fifth Avenue is on the west side. There's a lot of things, you know. All right. Madison Square, that? Madison Square Garden. There's no garden, and it's not square. It's round. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know something better? And it's not on Madison either. We could go tell you. I can tell you a lot of things about that. That is New York true. City. You know? Yeah. Well, last time I saw you perform, you, I, I went to the decor dinner with Laura Bush. Really? Hosted, and that was one Oh, of the, you were there with me and Miss Bush? One of the toughest audiences you can do. It's a very political thing. Of course, and political. Up and black absolutely. Black Republicans. Black Republicans. Yeah, Roy well, yeah, very yeah. conservative. You know I felt out of place with black Republicans. Oh, Who are the other kill? two guys? <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm only going to kick your ass one time. You know that, don't you? And, and you know he could fight. Look at his of nephew. Of course. Look at his nephew. <laughs> his nephew. It's not like I threw a cup at him. Or yeah. who, who were the other two guys? That's a great joke. That's a good joke. There was a whole lot of them there. Don't tell us, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had a good time at that Republican convention. I think Laura Bush was scared to go on after you. She was like, I got to follow George Wallace. That was yeah, the first Laura, thing she said when she walked right. up, which was nice. Wow. 
All right, so we what, had a good time. What are they saying about Michael Jackson? Can we get into this a little bit? or? Well, uh, I, the smokinggun.com, you've been on that uh, website. They they post a lot of these court records and documents, and and they got kind of got a hold of what the prosecution has come up with in all these search warrants that have uh, happened at Neverland and, and what they've collected. And some of the stuff is creepy, but uh, I, don't, I don't think it's surprising. In his bathroom... Michael what? Jackson's bathroom. What? Uh, they found a Samsonite briefcase uh, containing oh, porno God. magazines, a uh, barely legal magazine, cl uh, club magazine. Hell, he stole my briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is Martini Steve's apartment. <laughs> You're right. I know, yeah. But this isn't like... Anything I big. think anyone's got some porno at their house, right? Yeah, yeah. everybody. You all got porno at your house, right? Barely legal <laughs> DVD. They're not here for the cuss show. Let me tell you, they're not here for the electronics. They're here for the porn convention. They want to hear a couple curses. Uh, three books with pictures of nude men in them were found in Jackson's bathroom. With an open bottle of uh, Jack Daniels and Pinot Noir. So That's I wine. think now, now the, the Jack Daniels, I can understand having that if you're Michael Jackson in every room in the house. Because the second a kid starts going. Hey, wait a minute. I don't think I should. Cocktail time? <laughs> hey, Michael, I'm starting to feel a little creepy about drink. Drink, <laughs> drink my look and talk to me. You this know? doesn't matter where he is. <laughs> right? You can have him in a closet. It's like, no, Michael, I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> Cocktail? Michael, your nose looks like tracing paper. <laughs> Oh, man. Maybe you could use this. Well, welcome to Las Vegas, you guys. I know you're here for the show, for the uh, electronic show and the uh, porno convention. And the porno. You're just here for the porno. Let's face it. Let's say it. That's what the XM stands for. Yeah, believe me. If we didn't have to broadcast from here, I don't think we'd be hanging here as long as we have to well, tell you the truth. Well, you got a great show. You got a great audience. Man, you got a guy backstage just coming on. I, I, I know I got to get out of here, but this is great. One of my favorite baseball players of all time. I hope he's here for you guys because I'm talking oh, about it. Oh, oh, oh. I hope he's, huh? Oh. You know I'm from Atlanta. Not here for us. Is that here for you guys? No. no. So you better just stay in that seat. Is that here for you guys? <laughs> yeah, no. we don't want you to go anywhere. No. I saw Greg Maddox in the back. He's yes, not here for you, you did. guys. Dude, they keep the classier guys for all the other shows. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? That? What do you mean by that? I'll bust you. I'll bust a cap in your ass for talking to me like that. You know that? Wrong. The other shows get the athletes. We get the relatives. Well, how about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you're real smart here, aren't you, Jim? Yeah, we'll talk to his uncle, too, at uh, next break. <laughs> well, he can go to hell, then, if he can't be on this show. Well, he's doing like the him. show he's after. He's a sports show right George after. George Cal Ripken was walking around. He, You know, we couldn't get him on the show. He was right here. Ripken. Don't they know who opened in? They don't know who you... That's why that's, they don't put yeah, him on. That's they know exactly, exactly they who can, we are. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know what's going to happen, right? Cal Ripken, man. You know, big guy yesterday, a total sports right. legend. But, you know, I think he's a pretty conservative guy. And I don't think... Uh, our forum is quite for him. <laughs> you guys are not that far out, man. Come on, you're not that far out. You just have a good time, and that's the kind of radio I like. I if you're not controversial, if you're not controversial, there's no reason. We to just be kind in of radio. screw up every three years. That's yeah. all. Every three every years, three years, we, years uh, we, you know, we, we screw, screw up, up, and uh, the reputation that follows us because of our screw ups keeps certain guests off our show. But look how good that is. You screw up every three years, you get a two year vacation. You can't beat that kid. <laughs> well, it's, it's that funny is kind of nice. That. <laughs> We've been doing radio together ten years. Right. But as long always, as they've been doing anal in adult that's video, right. be, we're also we celebrating our we learned that anniversary, today. and we didn't have to do anal. <laughs> and uh, but only seven and a half years on the air. We've had to take two and a half years off yeah. from our career since we've been together. Well, what did years you do ago. those two years off? Um, were you going around uh, just holiday and sitting looking, around looking uh, doing other, uh, kind yeah, of just OP. counting the days off like prisoners? I was wondering about you guys because when you went off, you know, I was your competitor in New York City. So you're on the radio in New York? Yeah, I was. He didn't know that. <laughs> no, you came on in the afternoon. And I was on in the morning. That so was very yeah, good, yeah, yeah, OB. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Man. Hope it gives him a little underhanded <laughs> yeah, jab yeah, there. The you were on the air? Down. I never heard of that. Wow, oh, man, I would have listened to that. I had no idea. He's going to kill me. <laughs> what station were you on? I remember hearing you. See, there you go. Thank you so yeah. much. I was on uh, uh, Kiss FM. Kiss. And I was on Kiss FM, 98.7 Kiss FM. That's the country also, station, I was on right? The, I was with, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Wallace Brooks and Dunn. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, and then I also did Jammin' 105 at uh, Clear Channel. Right and, uh, you know, you're Cheap Channel. You, you know, they, oh. fired, they fired me too, so big deal. You know? They I did. Came, I came in one morning, they said, oh, you're not on. You know, so just That's how they do it. That's, That's how they do it. Radio is terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Radio is the worst. They throw you out. You don't even know you're fired. You're the last guy to know you're fired. Oh, they didn't tell you guys why I'm here? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> We're gone. That, that's usually how it's done. <laughs> it's true. You don't know what. Well, what's he doing here? You know. So 
Usually. What did uh, Frankie Blue get the boot? Frankie, well, yeah. Ooh, Frankie Blue over at uh, WNEW. Yeah. No, he came in after we got fired from okay. NEW. Okay. But we had played his audio of his uh, his drunken tirade he had on the air uh, a couple of weeks back. He, he had thrown. He, he went to a Christmas party. Christmas got a little got a little tipsy. Walked in. He's the program director over there, and uh, he, he got into some fight with uh, the girl that was supposed to come on the air, and uh, sent her home. And decided it was a good time for him to go on the air and, and do the show. Oh, and he God. was hammered. So he's slurring his words. He actually said another station's call letters instead of the station really? he was he on. Really? He did Channel 105? No, it was uh, KTU. He said, he said KTU. KTU because that was uh, yeah. his other station. Yeah, That's KTU. Right. Right. Yep. And, uh, and uh, well, we just heard today that uh, the hammer. He got the hammer? Fell. Yeah, he Frankie got Blue's fired. Gone? Yep. Frankie he Blue is, is gone. Frankie Blue is gone. What goes around comes around. It's just we, that, uh, we were the ones that ex exploited that uh, audio, though. And now it's all over the country. All the radio guys have a copy of it. We were playing it on our show, laughing our butts off. The Opie, a a Opie and Anthony does it again. How about that? There you have it. Are you going back to radio? Uh, I would like to go back to radio, but I'm having so much fun here in Las Vegas. I came here last year, January, for 30 days and 8, 60 days and 90 days. And I've been here, and I'm here at the Flamingo every night at 10 o'clock. And it's one of the greatest things that's going to happen to me. Every comedian in the world wants to get to Las Vegas. And, and I'm, you can't get here. You can't work here. So there's only a few rooms open here. And I'm here, and I'm having a good time. So you got like a steady okay. gig every night. Every that's night. Right. I do. I work one hour a day. How about that? That's better uh, than your job. You guys work far. Do you gamble? Far. No, we're working two hours Hell a day. Hell no. Do I gamble? You don't gamble? No. Why do you think they built this? convention center you can't win here you, you, let me give you some fair advice <laughs> when you come to las vegas you do what i do i get off the airplane i go straight to the casino cashier and i give them all my money <laughs> they don't need me wasting my time only way gonna, out of the, way, right? the only way you're going to double your money in las vegas is to mug somebody at the airport get your ass on that airplane and go on back home <laughs> and if you're going to gamble gamble at caesar's palace in the bellagio don't go down to circus circus you go down to circus circus you're trying to roll the dice they got monkeys and spit flying all over their head. <laughs> <laughs> so you cannot win here i'm telling you jim don't go down to the some people win, you know. You might look. Well, out. that's what keeps people coming, and and keeps the hope uh, that that you're going to win something. Is you always hear about the person pulls that slide handle, and and then wait a jackpot. second, wait a second. People come to Las Vegas to lose their money. They know they're going to lose their money before they leave home. I got two hundred dollars set aside. I'm going to lose this. That's true. And it's you all fun. Let's yet. make it clear. You do have a good time while you're in Las Vegas, right? Hell yeah. I don't care whether you're losing your money or what. You Hell do have yeah. it, and that's why you should keep coming here and come come here to laugh. Come here to have a good time. We got great comedians here. You got David Brenner right here, Noe Hilton. Mm -hmm. You got Rita Rudner. I'm all about laughter. So when you lose all your money, you come on down to the Flamingo. <laughs> I'll make you Get laugh a about it. chuckle after you. You can't help but to laugh when you come here. Table. So much stuff is in the news you can talk about. It just every every day, like the the presidential. What's his name? George Bush. George Bush. They're going to spend thirty million dollars for yeah. a reinauguration. Now, why reinaugurate this guy again? Thirty million dollars. Now they can use that money somewhere else, don't you think so? So I get pissed when things like this. They could give that money to. Uh, KFC, so they can find the original recipe on that chicken again or something like that, you know? <laughs> There's other ways they can do Because the chicken doesn't taste like it used to, does it? No. Somebody's not using all 11 spices. So when you come here, we, we can laugh about so many things that are happening in the news and uh, uh, sports. Like you got sports today, you got B.J. Singh and Tiger Woods, right? Yep. Here's two guys, number one, number two guy in golf. Two guys as dark as I am, and neither one of them black. That's a problem. I can't figure it out. <laughs> so... <laughs> so there's every day you can just read the newspaper and we can just talk about things in the newspaper. That's true. Latrell Sprewell, uh -huh. uh, basketball guy, what did he say the other day? He cannot feed his family on 14.9 14 14 million. million. Well, who the hell is your family, Latrell? The whole country of Ethiopia? I have to, <laughs> hell, I can feed his family. Oh, do you like good food? Speaking of food, have you eaten here? Uh, yeah. We got some restaurants here. We got uh, Bradley Ogden's voted the number one restaurant. We got uh, 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 Cafe Barbariba. But my favorite restaurant is uh, uh, Mon Ami Gabi at Paris. Make sure you stop there. And I ate last night at Emerald's Place. Y'all been to Emerald's Place? Oh, I've been man, there that food either. is so good. He took it up a notch. He took it up. What's his hook? What's Emerald's hook? I don't know. Bam! And right. I got my check last night. I said, damn! You know? <laughs> yeah. I think he took it up a couple nights. Well, you don't come here for the prices, you know. Well, that's true, too. Everybody's got Well, you can eat here cheaply, so... Or if, uh, he eats a BLTs uh, every uh, four hours, I believe. Yeah, yeah he's got upset And then vomits vomit. them up all night. vomiting all morning. Jimmy, it was sick last night. morning. What did you eat, man? The food was that bad? Three BLTs yesterday. And There's, then... like, gourmet restaurants all over the place that yes, you can go course. and get a really fine meal. If you're going to eat, like, crap and, and not pay attention to what your body and what you're putting in it 
that's fine, but at least make it something good. No, no. What does he do? Well, he wait gets a, a second, stack wait a of second, bacon. Wait a you don't look any better than he does. Now, what the hell are you At least I'm slender. <laughs> I'll say you are. <laughs> I wasn't vomiting last night. No, and we tried to eat uh, right last night, but all the restaurants closed at 1030. No, that's so what we had to go to the stupid that is true. We did try. Place. We did try. This has happened in Las Vegas. Las Vegas has changed. At 10, 15, slender. 20 years ago, you, everything used to be open late. Just like yeah. New York changed. You can't even eat in New York now after 11 o'clock. I don't know what happened. You know, uh, yeah. I don't know what happened, but it's different. So you have to eat good food. Man. That really hurt. At least I'm slender. <laughs> well, you. Oh, and you're you're admitting that what? You're, you're slender. You. He's you not the fat. other day, He's you pulled fat. you pulled your shirt up you to me. <laughs> you grabbed your belly, looked me in the eye, and went, "Ugh." I did. Do what that. does that mean? Do it now. Look at my washboard not. abs. We can, we can see it on XM Radio. Do it right yeah, now. Satellite. If you want to see it? what my stomach looks like, watch Boogie Nights. And when Philip Seymour Hoffman is crying in his half shirt. That's what I look like without a shirt. There's no way I'm lifting up my shirt and showing my no. fat stomach. Well, we already see the crack of your ass from the back. You might as well show your stomach. It really is bad. And I don't know which one of them looks worse. Well, the other thing about Jimmy, you notice he has no hair on his arms? I have, no, I, I nothing. have no look, hair. It's look, so I wispy. I don't either. I don't either. Yeah, but, but touch his. Yeah, it's look, really feel his hair. It's so wispy. <laughs> You know, I knew I was with some freaks when I first came up on the stage. <laughs> so new bit, I love it. It's so, ah. it's the stupidest thing. Steve, do you got that on video? No, I didn't get it. Uh, we'll get that on video for for the fine folks. That's kind of like you know, uh, you know, I was on the airplane last night when I was flying here last night. A lady told me since uh, I was uh, in my earlier life, I was a German Shepherd. Now, this. A lady came from coach to tell me she wanted to talk to me. She told me in my earlier life I was a German Shepherd. Can you believe that? And I said, you can go back in the back now. I don't need it. She said, let me talk to you for a second. She said, you've got a brother. He travels all over the world. Nobody knows where, he's is, where he is. And I said, that's true. He plays golf. Nobody knows where he is. He's in your earlier life. She said, you're a German Shepherd, and you, you, uh, you, you got killed in the war, uh, you and your sergeant. And, uh, and I can prove it to you because you got two knots in the back of your neck, and, nobody, and the dogs only have two, two knots in the back of their neck. And I put my hand back there, and I do. And put your hands back there, right back. You feel the two knots. Come on, put your hands back there. Man, I'm in for something. No, you're in for <laughs> <laughs> so you got to jump. I thought I get a jump. You know, <laughs> that's stupid, huh? Yeah, that, that is one. stupid. It was pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty awful. Sometimes you do stupid things on radio, don't you? You have a lot of confidence. in Nothing it, better than a sight <laughs> gag on radio. <laughs> They heard, the, what do you they heard the bark. Everything I do on radio, they you heard can the bark. see it. You can see it. <laughs> There's right. another thing I'll be thinking about too. What else is uh, in the Michael Jackson thing? We're going yeah, we never. I know here. we're all over the place. Just think if Michael Jackson goes to jail, he has to sing all those songs. Uh, the Jackson. girl is mine. The doggone girl is mine. Yeah, well, can I, I don't think that. It? I don't think that guy it? is can gonna. Feel it? I don't think he's gonna make it through uh, prison no. that, that long. No, and it really place. looks like some of this stuff he could. Uh, he could go. I bet you five dollars Michael Jackson doesn't go to jail. You, why is that? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I bet. I bet he doesn't. We're know. in Vegas. Five dollars. Ooh, stop me. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's the odds, right? Uh, <laughs> Jackson allegedly has. Uh, the, they're saying because. Uh, this stuff ended up on smoking guns, so it's, I guess, testimony from one of his victims. Uh, they say he has splotches on his buttocks Oof. and penis. They, they said that already, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they're also saying I, the... I know that for a fact. The one-time <laughs> accuser also when told cops... When I was a kid, I used to go over there. <laughs> he can pinpoint the location of the splotches on, on Jackson's erect penis, its length, and uh, circumcision. So now this seems to be stuff you know, that you can't just get you, make up. You're a little weird too. You read the whole story, didn't you? You like to get. I to the read it all, you? didn't? I? Yes, <laughs> I did. We have to be informed, George, for the radio show. Well, did you see how he enunciated erect? Erect. <laughs> and Michael said, "Masturbation is a wonderful thing," to the child. Yes. In the '93. Uh, Doesn't he say between a man and a child? Yes, between a man and a child. He said it's natural. It's a natural act. Well, you know what, I, I I shouldn't say this, but anytime you're caught with a kid, I don't think you should have kids. I wouldn't want kids around me anymore just because. But he keeps doing it. He keeps doing it. That's he what I'm keeps, saying. That's, that's uh, wrong. That's being wrong. around these kids and parents keep sending them to these parties. That's why you need to lock these up big the parents. Parties, uh, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Lock parents? up the parents. That's it. They lock up should the parents. take these kids away if they're taking them to this uh, Neverland Ranch. Oh, I don't fault the kids. I fault the parents completely. You I fault not, Michael Jackson. Would you Jackson. take your kids over there? Hell no. I fault Michael Jackson Thank and you so he should kids. go to prison. <laughs> Thank you so you much. Find we don't have kids, George. Look at us. No, no kids.
You don't you're, have kids either? No, I no. hate kids. We're all freaks up here. None of us have kids. kids. Oh, you don't have any uh, kids? No, but I'm a member of the Half Mile High Club. Half Mile High Club? Uh-oh, what's that? Well, Mile High... I'm, Mile High is with somebody. It's sex on an airplane. You're by yourself. It's oh, yeah. <laughs> did you crank one out got, on an airplane? We got... <laughs> You think that's turbulence on the plane when you fly with me? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and I guarantee you, I'm not the only one. Look at all these weird freaks out here looking at us. I don't I know. I guarantee you, half of them are member of the Half My High Club. And you, you've you done it, too. You've done it. I have not never done plane. that on a plane. Well, you should try. <laughs> um, that seems good. to be difficult, if, especially in coach, if well, you're next to people. You what? don't do it in your seat, yeah. idiot. Where do you do it? <laughs> Probably the bathroom. We're in the bathroom? In the bathroom. Or, the, or the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, George, like you that. do I it in the bathroom? People, this is axiom. <laughs> yeah, of course you do it. How oh, quickly, though, because if you're in there too long, people get a little impatient. It's okay. They can wait. They can wait. They can wait. And you, you know? finish up. And uh, yeah. then you got to use a that lot of, stupid sink that don't work to wash yeah, it off your hands. Yeah, a lot of napkins in there. A lot of things in there. You know, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm sure Kobe Bryant wished he had done that. You know what I tell okay. them all that? Kobe, you know, room service still, first of all, room service still going to be hell for Kobe. You know that, right? He goes to any hotel in the world. He's going to, you know, I'll call down. I like your bottle of champagne and T-bone steak. Sir, we think you better come out here and pick that up yourself, you know? <laughs> Good. Gonna and he's got to do what I do. I told him, I told him personally, do what I do. Stick with the lotion. And just be with yourself. Stick with the lotion. You know, hotels know who their number one customers are. Single businessmen, right? Uh -huh. that, have you noticed how conveniently they place the box of tissue next to the lotion? A lot of tissues and a lot of lotion in the hotel bathrooms. Sure, you should know. I go. Well, it doesn't have to stay in the bathroom. Right? You can take it where you want to. Take it. <laughs> you can go out into your room. It doesn't matter. Lotion. You can open the windows. <laughs> lotion stinks. I bring Eros. It's a big black bottle of lubricant, which would work on an engine. It's phenomenal stuff. <laughs> dice turn us on. To that. Dice turn us on. Is it kind of like mobile? Is it kind of like mobile one? You can go here. And yes. You can go back. Yeah. You can go here. You can go back. Greatest stuff ever. I don't like lotion at all. Give yeah. it has aloe in it. It's painful. The aloe causes painful. Yeah, I never yeah. heard about that. Burns. I never... How long are you cranking this where you need to, uh, Dude, a location like uh, I'll, an engine? I'll isolate for hours just kind of looking at my computer screen, tweaking my nipple, and just being alone. It's oh, disgusting. Man, you're a freak. You know that? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't that conjure up an image? You know, everybody, they're taking notes out there. <laughs> they're, they're, they're horrified. It's true. That, they're <laughs> horrified with what he has to say today. I'm horrified. Well, this is great. What, we, right. don't, we don't have any commercials on XM? We, we, no, we just... Oh, there's a, there's a couple every now and well, then we throw nice, in. This is nice, though, to come here. And you guys have a wonderful job here on XM Satellite. It's and we're nationwide. Yeah. Good morning to some people and good afternoon to others. How about that? We don't know what time it is. Well, it's 11 o'clock, 11.55 on the West Coast. We just yeah. know in like four minutes we get to start gambling. Oh, really? Yeah. We're gonna, what, what's your favorite game here? Uh, we're going to probably do a blackjack. little blackjack. We should all just look up fun. at a table. We're going to do yeah, it. Yeah. You don't gamble, though, you said. No, but I like to have fun when I go with friends, you know. I play craps. Yeah, with friends, you probably... Oh, craps? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, never yeah. get that game. You just see, I, there are people there yelling out things I don't even understand. It doesn't matter language. which game you play, craps, blackjack, you put your money on the table, they pick it up. It doesn't matter. You never left ahead. Yeah, I leave, I leave ahead a lot, but I don't gamble. I've been here for years, and you cannot win. I don't care if you win a hundred thousand dollars. You cannot win in Las Vegas. If you ever walk across me, some guy just walk across me. That's Martini Steve. Off the stage. He's a big if you feel don't worry about it. He's not as big as he says. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, we you, you know him well, don't you? Yeah, he's one of our guys. He just can't case, go that way because of the wires. In any case, yeah. you just have fun gambling. Make sure you have fun. That's all you do while you're in Las Vegas. Make sure you have a good time. I, I hear people that work money. here don't uh, don't gamble. A lot of people that work here don't no. because they turn into a problem. Sure, it won't become a problem. You just give your money back to your boss. What do the locals do here? They, they're not gambling. What do they do here for fun? Well, they go... I'm serious. They come here to retire for the weather. And they do, you know what the weather's like here, right? It's nice today, even though it's snowing uh, today and what? raining. But weather. you come here so, and... What? Yeah, they have weather here. Oh, okay. You come here in July and August. <laughs> you're not going to believe this. It's 116 degrees at midnight. That's crazy. And the people are just, you know, I think it's working with just doing something to their mind because it's stupid. Here. I mean, with the, all the entertainers got their plastic surgery, you know, and they're melting away like you won't believe. And <laughs> There's no reason the, to leave. Yeah, you're walking down the street, you step into vanilla ice cream, you look down, <laughs> you, you're walking on Joan Rivers, you never know what the hell's going on. <laughs> That's my little plastic there's, surgery joke. Okay. There's, <laughs> there's no reason to leave the hotels. Why don't but we go the, but the, the people that live here, they have a good time. They retire here. They can come. They can see shows. And that's why this is the fastest growing city in America right now. Because you can eat dinner here if you want. You can have breakfast for $2, $1.99. You, you, you know, you can have uh, cheap dinner. Here. I you, see the places outside of the big, you know, cas uh, casino resort areas where you're in the gas station, it says gas 
and video poker. You can go in the, in the gas station and play video poker. Yeah, why? Oh, hey, whoa. Hey. How, how bad is it? That's our two minute warning. That's our two minute warning. Sorry. Why would you play at the gas station? When there are beautiful like casinos everywhere, why are you then going to play in the gas station? These people are hooked, man. Not only the gas stations, in the grocery stores here. You go to grocery stores, they got got video machines. And what about the airport? Well, that's oh, right, right off the, the plane. Night. You already lost all your money, and you're waiting for your flight, and you're continuing to throw What them. a different set of people. When, when you, you get to the airport, your plane uh, gets uh, lands, well, you go to your gate, and then you get off your plane. The people coming off are all smiling. And you look at the people sitting in the seats waiting to get on the plane, they're just not. a bunch of miserable well, first bastards. of all, you're already pissed when you're at the airport because they go through you. They're making me take my shoes off, you know. I just paid $500 for these shoes. You think I'm going to blow them up? It makes me sick when you get out there. <laughs> and they're going through my luggage. You know what I start doing? I start putting my dirty drawers right on top. Oh. <laughs> you want to go to this place? Oh. Where do you get a whiff of this? I got the bomb for your ass. Wait, just open that up. Oh, that's toxic awful. waste on the uh, plane isn't allowed. <laughs> and you should do that. You know how you're on the Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here, guess, We got to so. get out of here. It's yeah. time to you go. You guys, let's hear it for George Wallace. Thank you so much. Oh, you Anthony, right here at XM Thank Satellite you, Radio all over America. Thank you so much. Something good is going to happen to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're done for today. That was easy. That's that was George easy. Wallace. We're all at the Flamingo, 10 oh, o'clock. Yeah, oh, that's right. And right. Uh, tomorrow, I guess we're going to be at the porn convention, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Going to the porn convention. <laughs> nice. I think tomorrow's going to be a different show, Anthony. Just a little. We're kind of showcasing here for the CES. Mm -hmm. We're... We're under our best behavior. Our last hour, we kind of blew it with the uh, Playboy girls and stuff. The language got a little saucy. Well, yeah, you knew that. You knew it was going to happen. I know. We do our best, but but tomorrow, tomorrow, C word. Yep. C word. On hey, the hey, I'm hey. teasing it. Tomorrow, C word. Tomorrow. C -word tomorrow. That's yes. cash. That got to be show. cash. It's not cash. Oh, we're in Vegas. Could be cash. Could cash. Be cash. Yeah. <laughs> Could be country. Could be oh, country. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can take Salem out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that, we're out of here. We'll see you guys right. tomorrow. Program complete. The stories. February, as spring training opens for the 2005 season, the hopes and dreams of 30 major league teams are told on XM Satellite Radio like never before. Kennedy takes a shot at it. There it goes. Kennedy's out of here. Hear every play, every team, from spring training to the World Series. Hear your hometown team wherever you are. Hear it on XM Satellite Radio, the official satellite network service of Major League Baseball. It's radio to the power of X, all included as part of your basic monthly service plan. Who wrote this script? Got me feeling it. Have you ever been listening to your favorite song on XM when someone starts yapping during the best part? Hey, Julie, where are you at? What can you do? Well, with the new Delphi SkyFi 2, you can replay the song. It's the first satellite radio with replay and pause features. Listen to your favorite songs over again. Sky Fi 2 for the car, home, and on the go. Add it to your family plan or give it as a gift. Go to xmradio.com to learn all the cool features about the Sky Fi 2. Now available in stores. Why not try XM Radio online for free? You have nothing to lose. Except for missing out on XM's 100% commercial-free music channels online. Add to your existing XM account for only $3.99 a month. Sign up for your three-day trial of XM Radio online at listen.xmradio.com. Know a friend who hasn't heard XM yet? You can send them to listen.xmradio.com for their three free days of XM Radio online. It's everything 24-7. XM202. The o and Virus. It's everything, all the time. XM202, The Opie and Anthony Show.